too many places and I've seen beautiful faces and sometimes I get lost wishing I could have ever seen but everything is nothing without you I'll be so incomplete
to. Yeah. I think we're live. Yes, I think we're good. Hi. Yeah. All right. So, welcome to uh, Deadlands. I think this is Deadlands, right? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, it should be. <laughs> it's been a long day. Uh, yeah, we're playing some Deadlands. Session Zero. Uh, it's horror. not Vampire. It's not Vampire. Uh, horror of Headstone, I think it's called. Um, and uh, I, I'm tired of talking already, so Derek, it's all you. Hey, so it is. Um, yeah, this is some Deadlands things. All right, so uh, we have some new people at the table that we... I'll need to get to know, so I'm going to go first and introduce myself so you guys can know who I am. Uh, I'm Azil, or Derek as they call me, that's my real name. Um, and uh, I run tabletop games, that's pretty much what I do. Uh, run and play. Um, lots of experience, I really like telling stories, and Deadlands is a favorite system of mine to run, so who's next? Goba. Goba? Then Koba died. Uh, Alright, I'll go. Fuck it. Uh, I'm a Chad and Gorgio. If you're watching the stream, you already know who I am for the most part. Um, I also play Deadlands and Dustin's Dragons, which 5e is probably the uh, game system I run the most. Um, and that's about it because I got some working on some shit. So, uh, next. <laughs> Sorry. And I'm outside really... because I don't know you. So, who are you? What do you do? Oh, my name is Justin. I am a non traditional pre med student, which is why I was worried about time. Um, and yeah, so school eats my life. Um, I took the summer off because I need to actually do like not school things. <laughs> Absolutely fair, being pre-med. Uh, yeah, <laughs> for sure. So, non-traditional. Why are you non-traditional? If you don't mind me asking. Um, this is always a fun game. How old do you guys think I am? Thirty-five. Mm, Probably twelve. <laughs> thanks. Thanks, man. Um, no, 35 is one of the closer guesses I've gotten. I'm 40. Okay. So not so bad. Yeah, but it's like, instead of, you know, as a midlife crisis going... Uh-oh, did he turn his computer off? <laughs> nope. Yeah, that's my kid. <laughs> fair enough. No, totally fair. I mean, that is the way of it. So, Siskab, I don't know you either. Who art thou, and what do you do? Hello, uh, I'm I'm Brazilian. I'm from Brazil, so um, English is not my primary primary language, so I can mess up some things. But I think it it will be fine. Uh, I have a bachelor degree on accounting, so I work in a financial small company here in Brazil. Uh, I like to play uh, more D and D stuff uh, with some of my friends, uh, but in the last two years I couldn't play anything, so I was searching so for something to start playing. Uh, I know nothing about Foundry or Deadlands, but I read uh, a little bit of the the world we are going to play. So looks very interesting for a more rolling playing game, not so focused combat looks like <laughs> yeah that is uh, one of the big things about me is that uh, I I am not so much a combat oriented person um, <laughs> I have run you? many a combat session and Chad is just like who <laughs> huh? him? you no <laughs> play vampire oh. what I, I have gone many sessions without ever rolling a dice in some systems. Um, and it is nice. It's good. Yeah. I, I think I prefer like that, actually. Yeah, same. 
So it's kind of fun. Um, but it doesn't have to be <laughs> fucking mother fucker. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we'll get to Koba. Or <laughs> Dark Asshole. Uh, whenever he gets back. And then. Alright, so. Uh, next thing on my docket is a lightning Asshole. round of table rules. Uh, Thank you, sir. First off, uh, have a good sleep. <laughs> it's pretty standard. Um, nothing is super crazy. Uh, the main one. Don't be a terrible person. Like, I, I don't tolerate any sort of, I don't tolerate any sort of like racism, homophobia, transphobic, uh, anything like that. So, um, keep it to yourself, or bye. That's or, kinda or, or I'll come there and fuck you up. Yeah, uh, <laughs> this is, it's always one of those, uh, one of those things. Uh, also, we are on stream. Um, since we are on stream, you know. Keep it as PG-13 as possible. Um, that's kind of the other thing. And then the third thing is just make characters that work together. I don't do... I, I try to stay as far away from PvP at the table as possible. Um, my general rule is I don't mind inter-party or inter-player conflict. However, uh, I want you to keep it to roleplay. That's the main thing. Um, like, if your character's main goal is to pull a gun and shoot... Uh, the rest of the party mem the the rest of the party members, then um, you might want to rethink that. That is just kind of how that goes. Uh, just some questions. Uh, Answers. What's up? Uh, there was a section on that lanes Verge West uh, that talks about racism and slavery. Yes. How does we all work on the campaign? The so, world? in this campaign. Um, it basically doesn't exist, and we're about to get to that with uh, the New Deadlands. So in the New Deadlands, the book references this, and they basically said, hey, in our older versions of Deadlands, these things existed. We've changed the timeline a little bit, uh, and they have an in-game reason for doing so, where they have changed the timeline. They said, hey, these things happened. These things were pretty awful, and they shouldn't really be represented at a gaming table. So we're going to keep that standpoint going forward. Um, this is a different world, and while it does mirror U.S. history to some point, it, let's keep the gritty realism and full-on racism out of it. Um, that is kind of one of those things. That That's kind of just where I draw the line there. Um, I, I want to keep it as as cordial as possible and indeed um, I will go ahead and say this now there are actually uh, quite there are actually quite a few non-traditional characters that are presented that are presented in this module and in this adventure um, there are characters uh, there are gay characters I believe that there are lesbian characters I believe that there are and then there are just like some really crazy off the wall people um so it's a big mixed bag for this one sorry about, sorry about that my uh, uh everything froze up at reboot no worries um uh, let me find out. that is all good so um who are you Beast, what do you do? What do you, who is your daddy and what do you do? What does he do? Um, yes. Uh, I, I'm Beast. I, uh, I've unfortunately been stuck with the name nickname Koba around these these people. So, um, I uh, well, I'm most I'm mostly retired due to physical physical issues. Uh, so basically, most of my time is playing D and D and being annoying. So uh, <laughs> I uh, played the uh, Kinal uh, at Azel's last uh, um, Deadlands uh, run through, and uh, was looking to get back into it again. So it sounded like fun. And uh, I'm the brother from another mother of uh, Justin here. <laughs> Yee. Yeah. Okay. So. Uh... You missed my you missed my uh, lightning round of table rules, but you know them all because you've played in enough games with me. 
Um, they don't really change, by the way, across anything. Um, so, no need to go over those again. Now, uh, that was a great segue, which brings us into our quick overview of Deadlands for the stream and for you guys. So, uh, this is a system that was uh, that's been around since the 90s. Deadland, Deadlands was uh, one of the grittier systems to come out at that point. Um, still published by Peg Inc., which is a company that still publishes it today. And it has gone through many iterations since then. Um, whenever they released Savage Worlds, they kind of bundled Deadlands up in that. And have just been using their Savage Worlds rules to keep Deadlands going. Um, it's a great system, it's really fast, it is very furious, and it's a lot of fun, especially in combat, because just of how fast it moves. Now, when it comes to... When it does come to those things, um, I will say right now that this system can get very, very deadly. Um, very, very fast. <laughs> because one of the main providences of Savage Worlds just a little bit. is that... Um, your dice explode. And what I mean by that is when you roll a die any of any type, if you roll the highest number on the die, you get a it re-rolls and then you add it to the target. Thank you, Pawn Lamb. So to the point where I rolled two D four plus two damage and ended up rolling thirty six damage. Off of two D four plus two. So, it can get kind of crazy, but that is for enemies, that is for allies as well. It's not just uh, it's not just for my NPCs, it is for all of you as well. So you can get pretty lucky and just end up murking people if you need to. Um, as far shit. as shit. actual Ooh. things about the system, it blends all of those tropes of like spaghetti westerns and pulp and horror and these ideas of like wilderness survival and puts them all into kind of one crazy set here um you'll find people of all types you'll find priests you'll find people who were in the war and deserted uh people who make livings on odd jobs um you'll find escorts and bounty hunters and maybe some martial arts masters or people who gamble with the devil to get magical powers it's a uh, it is a true mixed bag, and the great thing about Savage World is that you can make any type of character you want. Um, everything will... Uh, you can make anything you want, from the hindrances and edges and all that stuff. That's the great thing. We'll talk about actual full-on mechanics pretty soon, whenever we get into things. Okay. Uh, any quick questions? So on the setting itself, um, since we're mixing, thankfully, like the slavery and the racism, uh, did the Civil War still happen? Yes, uh, the Civil War did still happen. Um, but so in the Deadlands lore, uh, the Civil War turned kind of into a Cold War arms race, pretty much. Um, there was a giant earthquake, the big one for Californians, uh, that kind of like messed up the coast of California. The reckoning. And then it also brought with it the discovery of a new element called Ghost Rock. Um, this element screams when it burns, and it burns ten times hotter than coal. It's an extreme energy source. So it turned into, it basically turned the Civil War into an arms race. Um, the Civil War has since ended at our current timeline. Um, things have changed, and that is kind of where we end up in 1884. Now, we won't get into any of that kind of politics. It stays far away from this area of the country that we're in, because you all will find yourselves in Wyoming. No, wait. Yes. Wyoming. Kind of near Yellowstone. Nice. Jesco, okay. I'll get back to Jesco in a moment. Now, uh, quick overview of Foundry things. 
So, when Koba gets back on the table, which he, I guess he will soon. Sorry about that, I didn't know it wasn't on there. No, you're good. So, uh, overview of Foundry things. Now, we already talked about where to find your character sheets and where to find uh, core rulebook PDFs if you need them. But there's one more big thing that we need to worry about. Um, now, over by the settings button, so from the far right and then in one, is like a closed book with a little symbol on it. Uh, that closed book is the compendiums list. So if you need to look up a rule on the fly, you need to search for something, you go here. These are your compendiums. So you're going to go down to journal entry, and then in there, you'll see suede rules, you'll see deadlands rules. And those are the complete rulebook compendiums for the entire system. This is an official system in Foundry, so they get official support, and they have all their rules in there. Yeah, can I ask a quick question? Yeah, answer. What's up? Uh, is there a way to make that back ground screen stop rolling like that that's kind of really driving me crazy it's got making my eyes go cuckoo. i suppose i can turn it to doll I'm, I'm sorry it's just it just really distracts me <laughs> i'm like squirrel but instead, but but instead ah <laughs> but i will keep my sleepy at all so Thank My you. Uh, I like the sepia tone. It was just the the the, the concept rolling picture thing. It was like eh. I don't even know what you now. Even with the <laughs> so with the compendiums, uh, everyone find those okay. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Now, when we go to make our characters, we're going to make extensive use of these compendiums because this is also where you will find uh, all of your skills, all of your edges, all of your hindrances. So, under in the items folder, if you go there, you will see suede edges, equipment, hindrances, powers, and skills, and then the same thing for deadlands. Uh, this is going to be a mixed bag. So, you're going to. Some things don't exist in a deadlands compendium because they didn't want to duplicate them. The, everything that exists in suede exists in deadlands to some degree. Obviously, um, insane amounts of technology like computers and um so computers wouldn't exist which means a hacking skill doesn't exist which also means like things like energy weapons and pistols and weird stuff energy weapons energy pistols uh stuff like that will not exist so you can't take any of those but everything else is pretty much fair game um if it seems unplausible ask me that's the main thing. And that's pretty much it for Foundry. Uh, the main thing is... Oh, wait. No, it's not. I need to open my own invite link so I can see what you all see. Okay. I need my local network. I'm blue. Right. Bye. Okay, so on the left side, under the Foundry logo, is a set of buttons. So the first button that looks like a person is everything that has to deal with your character. Um, if you need to select tokens, you use the rectangle bounding box. And you can either click on a single token or drag and select to select multiple things. Uh, to target things, hold Alt and left click. That's how you target people. Alt plus left click will target. We'll go over it a few times. Uh, James just messaged me. He'll be in soon. He just what? got What? Yeah. What? Uh, some of you have already found my measurement tools and my uh, and my safety tools as well. We'll get to those in just a second. Uh, the next one is the measurement tool. So this one, if you need to find distances, use the measurement tool. That's what it's for. And then under that is also a calendar. 
So the calendar is currently set to the current date as it is in game. It is currently May 18th, 1884. Uh, that is where we are. And it's kind of evening. It's like 6.13. That's what I have it set to. I don't know why, but that's what I did. Now under that, where it has the little right angle ruler, is the measurement controls. If you need to set blast templates for any of your abilities, Use the C, S, M, and L one. So C is for a cone template. It sets a cone template. S sets a small blast template. M sets a medium blast template. And large sets a large blast template. Kaboom. Kaboom. Exactly. If you need to get rid of them, you can hover over your own and hit the delete button. Backspace or delete. Either work fine. And all you gotta do is hover over that icon and hit delete, and they'll get rid of them. I hate delete them. And that's easy peasy. Let's see if you... Uh, everything is... It, nothing specifies, like, an actual distance. Uh, <laughs> if you have an area of effect ability, it will always say to use a template. So, like, cone templates will always be a cone. Small, small medium, and large blast. That's fine. Uh, under that is journal notes which we don't super need to worry about right now. And then under that, the thing that looks like a little hard hat is the safety tools button. Uh, someone has already found that. So these I like to keep at the at the table. Um, I rarely have to use them. But that's what they are. They're safety tools. So the first one up at the top is the X card. The X card means that uh, I don't oh. like this. Let's oh. stop. These are only for use if you actually have a super issue with the scene. Um, so, like, if something crazy happens and things are gone too far, that's what those are for. The thumbs up is a keep going. That means that, hey, we like this, this is okay. So keep going. Uh, the caution sign with a little exclamation point. Uh, nah. This is the card that means... Um, I'm okay to keep going, however, what is in this scene needs to stop. Like, we need to go to the next one, fade this to black, this is getting a little too much. Also known as Koba's playing a bard card. Yes. <laughs> uh, the pause... <laughs> no shit. <laughs> <laughs> the pause button says, hey, I need a second, uh, let me step away. And let's pause play for a moment and rethink our actions. Uh, obviously the play button is to let's get back to things and resume. Fast forward means hey, let's just move this along much faster and then go back and redo is let's go back and redo. That's a rewind. That's everything from the player side um, besides combat and your character sheets, which we're about to go over. Uh, quick question. Can we rena rename that uh, uh, that Faster card to faster, more intense. No. A AKA the George Lucas card. <laughs> no. Gotcha. Because that requires messing with monsters. I, I know, I was just, sorry, I was making a terrible joke. And I am waiting. What? Um, that is everything but the quest log, and we'll talk about the quest log at some point. Everyone's still keeping up, everyone good. Any questions? Questions. No questions. Okay. I will assume that the O card means keep going. <laughs> Alright, so on your character sheets, I can close that now. If you go ahead and open your character sheets, we're getting a James in here in one moment, so I'm going to run a little bit slower for right now. One question, which I'm pretty sure I know the answer, but I'm still going to ask it. What's uh, up? Bottom left-hand side under the players. Mm-hmm. Uh, 33033. Three, three. What does that mean? Those are the bennies? Uh, those are the bennies, yes. I thought so, but I just want to ask. Mm -hmm. That is how many bennies you all have. Um, which, oh, brings us to a thing. Uh, bennies are kind of like um, the best way to explain them is like inspiration in, in 5th edition D&D. &D. Um, they do allow you to re-roll a trait roll, 
but they also have some other functions as well. So, Binnies let you kind of stay in the action. They are your resolve. Um, and when you make a... Whenever you take damage, you're going to probably become shaken. Uh, if something does enough damage to you to make you be shaken, then you will be shaken. Shaken means that uh, you can't take any action. You are basically stuck. You can move, but you can't why well, shoot back. You're basically stuck. So you can spend a Benny to remove your Shaken, and you can also spend Bennies to soak wounds. Uh, so, like, if you're taking damage, you're going to take wounds. Um, wounds are basically your HP. You take three wounds, you are down. It doesn't seem like a lot, but extras are the same way. They don't have extra wounds, they have three. And not every enemy has three wounds. That's just the, like, special ones. Uh, the little, the little guys, like, non-important, non-named people, um, they only have, they only need to take one wound, and then they're gone. So, they're just not as, not as important. Benny's do a couple more things, uh, which we'll get to, and we will talk about whenever they come up. I will ask you about them if you want to use a Benny for that, and all of that stuff. But, making a character. Oh, wait, no, one more thing. Did people have character concepts in mind? This is the very first thing. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay, cool. So what are they? A Hexlinger. A Hexlinger. Who does what? Hexes people. No, uh... uh <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Fair enough. <laughs> yeah, they hex people. No, uh... With their weapons, they, uh... They kind of, like, they describe shit, and then they can power their weapons. And uh, they could also, I believe, uh, I'm not sure on Reloaded, but I know Old Deadlands, you could, uh, like, uh, buff your uh, posse as well. Yeah, uh, it depends on what powers you take at the end of the day. Right. Um, and I, I think I'm kind of toying around with the idea of the character being one of the herbs, like a, a, a lesser known herb. Ooh, I, I thought of doing I was like because I, I was I'm watching my other or if you've never seen a show you should totally watch it uh, but yeah so I was like that'd be kind of cool anyone else? so I was kind of thinking of because um, you can ask Koba about this I am totally typecast it is the, the mad scientist mad doctor type um, so I was actually kind of thinking of doing like a, uh, a surgeon with a little bit of a checkered past. So not somebody who's very combat oriented, probably going to be a little bit of a coward uh, when it comes to that. But um, has there's a hindrance so, for that. It's called cowardly. Yeah, I'm probably going to take that one. <laughs> uh, but, you know, so focus is a little bit more on the on the intellectual side uh, than, than the combat side. Okay. Of course, I mean, everybody needs a healer. That's always nice to have. Yeah, absolutely. It is definitely a thing to think about. I, I have a quick question. Um, would you get offended if I called you Doogie? <laughs> As in Doogie Hauser? Yes. Oh my God. God. No, you know what? <laughs> um, uh, kind of forgot the actor's name, and I should know it. Um, I dude, he's hot. I mean, Neil Patrick Harris. Yeah. So I mean, I, I yeah, that doesn't bother me. Okay. He, had, he has a very cute family too. <laughs> no, dude. If I looked like Neil Patrick Harris, I'd be like, I'd be all about that. Too short though. Same. Anywho, uh, who next? Sorry, sorry, I couldn't help it. Again, character uh, concepts ooh. as simple as. Just derp herb. Ooh. That's okay, so I was thinking I'm on doing something like a sword. So I think I think I might more name it Steve. character. Steve. Uh, but herb. with some traumas that uh, we can discuss later if what's going to 
the goods are not or they are drinking. Yeah, absolutely. Um, that's one of the other big things about Deadlands. Uh, yes. Deadlands is a horror setting, kind of at its core. Stephen Urban. It's not like mustache. super oh, like crazy that. horror. I like that. Like that. Like that. U.S. movie it. horror. Um, a token. It's one of those where part of your character creation in Deadlands is to like what is your character's biggest fear? Like they're they're their nightmare. What what is the thing that scares them the most? Essentially. Yeah, that was the most interesting thing for me. When I was reading about hindrance, I thought, whoa, that's a lot of things that I can add to the character and make it more interesting than other systems, but <clears throat> Exactly. Beast, what were you thinking? Well, I well, I offered up that one joke and that uh, humorous concept last night, but uh, and I don't think you know, I don't think that would exactly fly really. But um, I was if I if that doesn't work, I was thinking going hunter yeah, because uh, I want I, I didn't want to do the Native American again because uh, as much as I enjoyed it, uh, um, I always worry about doing that. You know, by playing a Native American character as a Horribly, horribly white person. <laughs> Be respectful and don't lean on stereotypes. Exactly, I, I know that. <laughs> and as someone who is like 34%, uh, I would not be offended. So there. Oh yeah, my, my last one wasn't uh, horribly stereotyped other than that. Holy fuck, why the fuck was Chad on 200% volume? Ouch! <laughs> Holy shit, it's James. Derek, wow. I owe you a million dollars. I owe you a million dollars. Yeah, you do. <laughs> Told you you'd be here. Okay. Uh, we're going to go back to uh, introductions for a minute here. Now get on um, camera, fucker. So, Kanala, James, who are you? What do you do? Um, well, um, I am, I think, human. Not quite sure sometimes. That's not wrong. No, you're not wrong. Yeah, yeah this is I, I thought you were a gnome. What? <laughs> Toba, have you uh, has um, Chad shown you the um, character concept I made that I'm actually not playing, but it's quite funny. I, I, I was going to say, oh my god, play something different for once, not another <laughs> Kinala. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so um, yeah, I'm Kinala James. Um, I'm I've been a long time D and D player. Um, I've done a few. Um, GM'd a few games, unfortunately my most recent game fell apart from um, various people having to leave for other reasons but that's another story um, Real life is real man. Yeah, I've, I've played Deadlands once before with Derek and a couple of us quite enjoyed it and I'm looking forward to playing today Yeah So, uh, today is, we were just talking about character concepts uh, mm -hmm. just kind of do, do you st do you still have do you still have my old character on Fantasy Grounds? Because I quite enjoyed playing that. Um, maybe. So Tim, I uh, could probably check the British guy. Oh, uh, did you find a Foundry link? Is the original? No, 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 sorry, it, it's it's far room. rooms in. Uh, so it's where you are pinged. Where am I At pinged? Here. Oh yeah, dead line. Sorry, I just pinged everyone because I'm too lazy to type. Damn it! Uh, I was about already to ping them in every channel. <laughs> so check the pin messages. Um, there is a foundry link under a spoiler in the pin messages. Click that, and you okay, know wait. basically how to use foundry, right? I know how to use foundry, yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, where am I? Where am I? Foundry link. <laughs> By the way, who made us all potatoes? Because that's kind of weird. <laughs> I, I did. That is not the foundry link. That's a YouTube video. Oh, I see. I see. Okay, you find it. Yeah, that's the tutorial on how to use foundry from a player's side. That is kind of "quote unquote" D and D specific, but not really. All right. What's the password? What's the password, Derek? There is none. Okay. Just select your user. Go for it. Mm-hmm. So how does Deadlands feel in Foundry? 
amazing. It's really, really good. Um, I'm excited whenever we get to play because it works out so good. Yeah, so the good. developers did a great job. Like the Excellent. little, the little I've seen because I do uh, Deadlands Dam weekly in Fantasy Grounds, and from what I've seen in Foundry, it's a lot better. Yeah, it's really good. Do I need to make an avatar, or is that something you're going to do? Uh, you don't need to make an avatar. Don't need to worry about that. Okay. It all, it's basically so it shows up in the chat whenever you roll, but your mm -hmm. character stuff will show up, so it doesn't matter. Now, uh, Beast, continue that character concept for me. Uh, like I said, uh, the, the two different ones that I was uh, messing around between. I think the first one was probably too jokey, so I don't think you would really appreciate it if I went that way. Uh, the other one was the uh, the huckster, which I don't really have fleshed out yet, but I will figure it out. Sure. And, I mean, we, we've got time, so that's the main thing. Uh, so, James, did you have any other... Like ideas, uh, you were playing, you were playing a mad scientist in that I was. as well. If I, I was, correctly. he was, he was, he was quite friendly, a little bit ambiguous, but nice fella. No, he was quite helpful for the team. I actually don't have it. I wonder if I, I had to reformat, uh, so I lost it. Let me have a look. It was in classic, wasn't it? Yeah, for that one. Uh, so. Classic. That's the main thing. Um, I don't mind multiples of quote-unquote archetypes or classes, if you want to call them that, even though they're not really. Because the amount of customization that goes into Savage Worlds characters is... Oh, it's phenomenal. ...so high that no two characters are going to be exactly the same. Um, even if you're both hucksters, even if you're both... Even if you're both that. You may want to talk to each other and select... And make sure you talk about select different powers, or make sure that your trappings are different for your powers. We'll talk about those in a minute. Um, okay. It was merged on the Hellstrom Express, so it wasn't it? It sure was, yeah. yeah. I will, of course, be taking my favorite flaw, though. That's nah, okay. Rip flaws server what? to death! Flaws are what make this game fun. Flaws are what make this fun. Okay, so... Um, We've got some base character concepts out. Really? <laughs> uh-huh. Uh-huh. What's up? What's going on? Okay. <laughs> uh -huh. You'll find out. <laughs> uh-huh. No. I've, uh, I've, got the, I've got the character in Fantasy Grounds, Derek. Okay, cool. Um, there's no way to export them, so you'll have to build them. Yep. Alright, so, as far as building characters in Deadlands and in Foundry, uh, you guys got your character sheets open? Yep. Just... Where, where, where is it? Sorry, I, I haven't... No worries. Uh, above the chat window, uh, click the people icon, oh, the actors that's right. directory. It's alright, it's because it's on the right hand side. I was uh, used to it on the left. Yeah, it's on the left in uh, Jessica's game. I find her. Yeah. Uh, player characters. No. Yeah, in the player characters folder. And then the other yep. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, just a couple of quick things about the sheet. Um, every character gets some free skills in. Savage Worlds, and that is five skills, actually. Uh, your Everyone's free skills are Athletics, Common Knowledge, Notice, Persuasion, and Stealth. Uh, these are things that everyone can do. Now, you'll notice that there are all of these different types of die sizes. That's kind of strange. Um, most of us are just used to using D20s for everything, but that is not the case. So, all of your characters are what are known as wild cards. Whenever you are asked to roll a trait or a skill die, they're all trait rolls, technically. Whenever you're asked to make a trait roll, you will roll what is the skill, and then an extra die, a d6, will roll with it. 
And you get to take the higher of those two numbers. It's kind of like permanent advantage, but with a d6. So even if you only have a d4 in something, so say your athletics and your agility is a d4 and your athletics is at a d4, you if you only have a d4 in something, you can still succeed even at a minus two just because you'll... Exactly, that. You'll roll a... You'll take the higher number. That makes sense? And a four is still pretty much a success, or does that change? Yeah, fours are always successes. Um, so that is our target number, is four. For pretty much everything except for melee combat. Melee combat's a little bit different. It kind of has to beat parry. Damage has to beat toughness. That's... But 90% of the time, the, the uh, thing to beat is a four. And then from the chat, you click roll on the on the card in the chat, and then that will roll it. So the card. So, Derek, question. Yes. Do we have to um, do we have to write skills that manually, or is there a way to drag and drop them? There is a way to drag and drop them from the compendiums. Um, do you know how to get to the compendiums in Foundry? Compendium packs. Yep. And then under uh, items. Okay, yeah, I see that. You'll find all those things. Skills. So first things first. Let me grab my handy dandy Notebook. Yes. Also known as a character creation summary. So first things first. Um, we have there. We have our basic concepts laid down. Now we need race. Uh, unfortunately, humans are the only race allowed in Deadlands. Uh, it's a diverse place where all ethnicities are welcome, and bigots of all types still remain. However. Uh, there's general lawlessness, um, but everyone is still flocking to America to pursue a better life. Humans begin play with one novice edge whose requirements they meet. So, you get a free edge. It's kind of nice. Humans, boo. Yes. But be a Derek. Good. That's okay. Hmm. Yes. When you go yes. into um, Deadland skills, it only shows trade. Mm hmm. Because they didn't duplicate them in the suede. From the suede skills. Oh, so they so, need to, So, is it from suede skills you get them? Yep. Suede skills and uh, the only Deadlands core skill is trade. Everything oh, else I is taken from Suede. Sweet. Next, uh, so go ahead and add, I think I probably already added human to all of your sheets just because. It did oh, I did not. not. Okay, cool. So under race, just type in human. It doesn't do anything. It, it just lets us know that you're human. So the fun part uh, is coming up right now. So if you click on the Edges and Hindrances button on your sheet, we get to add some hindrances here. So every character is defined by his or her flaws. Uh, these are hindrances. You can take up to f you can take up to four points of hindrances. So major hindrances are worth two points. Minor hindrances are worth one. Now, you can take more if you want to, but the maximum benefit is four points for this. Now, if you want to have a read through the hindrances, easiest way, open a compendium pack for suede hindrances and for Deadlands hindrances and have a read through some of them. If you see one that looks like what you might look at, <laughs> click on it. Take a look, see if you actually want it. If you do want it, uh, drag and drop it onto your character sheet. Where's the command compendium packet again? So, up above the chat, uh, on the right-hand side, 
not the set not the settings button but the one directly beside it <laughs> and then under oh, items good. and then you'll see the folders there for those okay mm -hmm. oh this is already getting interesting <laughs> yeah <laughs> Mario fun Uh, if you have any questions about them, like if you're not sure what something means in that, feel free to Ooh. ask. Yeah, I didn't even look at the entrances. Set. But like, if you wanted a character who only had one arm, you know, there there's a hindrance for that. Uh, it's a major hindrance. They have lost an arm. So tasks that require two hands for them, such as athletics rolls, some of them, or using a two-handed weapon would suffer a minus four modifier. <laughs> Steve, this is so hey James, question <laughs> for you. One. Um, you're going to do a mad scientist, right? Are you going for more of the, the tech-based, or are you going for more of a, like, medical, biological? Tech-based, mate. Okay, cool, because I'm going more the medical side, so have fun with the tech stuff. Ooh, this could be interesting. Another, doc another doctor. Yep. Yep. Two doctors, uh, well, two well. huxlingers, two huxters. Wait, there's two hucksters? Well, a hexlinger and a huckster are kind of the same thing. Oh, well, I, I don't like doubling up. I might do something else then. There is enough variation between them that it is fine. I know, but... Uh, it's, not, it's always something that's always... I try to avoid as much as possible. Sure. Uh, it is up to you. Um... You can re you can seriously make anything you want and like combine them like that is where are... what's up where where are ab where are abilities which abilities <clears throat> like powers uh... I don't know on my character sheet on the old one it just says um, under abilities edges hindrances abilities. Oh, uh, under edges and hindrances. Like, what are abilities? No, what I mean is, where can I find them in the compendium? Uh, they don't exist in the compendium. Oh, right. Yes. Because there aren't really any special abilities. <laughs> like, they kind of exist, but that's really a homebrew thing. Yeah, you put something on my character sheet on the other one, and I have no idea what it means. Can you, uh, <laughs> take a screenshot and show me? Yes. And I can tell you. Or I can try and remember and then tell you. <laughs> I will send you a message right now. So it is the bottom one under abilities. Oh! Uh, adaptable is, uh, from humans. Alright, so that's something all humans have. Yes. Um. Okay. It, it doesn't mean anything. Adaptable technically does nothing in, in game terms. I'm looking at my character sheet now. Do you remember it? Ooh, that's a good one. Oh, you had... I like oh, that wow, one. you did have one arm. <laughs> well. Don't ruin it. Hey. That's my job. Storyteller. No. Okay, so that's Edgens and Hindrance system. Now it's remembering. Okay, so what did I have? I've lost the Night Terrors. Uh, 
Looks like the hindrance is uh, suffers a minus one penalty in all spirit rolls. What is a uh, spirit roll? Those spirit rolls are for various things. They're generally for like resisting resisting supernatural effects, or um, if you are if you are like a divine, if you're like a priest, um, someone who like calls on a power of God, you make spirit rolls for your for your spells instead of making like a smart instead of it being tied to smart, it's tied to spirit. So, when something supernatural occurs, probably it will be a spirit roll. Yep, and probably going to have a spirit roll. Um, it, it's also a spirit roll to um, recover from being shaken. So, like, in combat, if you get shaken, like, if you're stunned from taking, uh, from taking one wound or taking some damage, um, you're going to have to make a spirit roll at the beginning of your turn to become unshaken. So if you just had a night terror, then... Affirm farm minus one balance. There's yep. Wrong. Okay. Now, how do you add these to your sheet? Uh, click and drag onto the edges and hindrances tab. Cool. Yours is Steven, right? Yes. Tell us, right. Talisman and, and you, well, you can see the other one. Yeah. So it's uh, two for a major, one for a minor, yeah? Uh, yes, two for a major, one for a minor. Up to four points, okay. Up to four points. You can always have more hindrances than that if you want, um, but you only get benefits from four points. Right. Eric. Yes. Have we have we have a quick look at my sheet to see if um, it looks okay? I've copied and pasted as much as I can see. Um, Should I do arrogant? <laughs> looks fine to me. Wait, edges and hindrances. You have your arch and background. Good science. Wait, what was that? Oh, I was looking for the cowardly one, and I found it, but it was like, it wouldn't work because it was like, it's squeamish at the sight of blood and gore, which... Oh, try yellow. Oh, yeah, no, that's, that's yellow. Yeah, that's the one I just found. And it's like, no, being squeamish at blood and gore wouldn't work for a surgeon. <laughs> it could be. That could be quite an amazing character, actually. <laughs> you can always ignore that part and just be terrified of coming to harm. You know, that's the main thing. It's that, or, um, let me see, what else would work there? Uh... The other one I was looking at was Cautious. I like that one. Go to yep. Water. Cautious works. Um, tenderfoot also, kind of. Yeah, Tenderfoot works, too. That would be Take just like my character character. Doctors are the worst patients. <laughs> I like you already. <laughs> and the edges, you start off with one. Right. Yes, right. uh, everyone starts with a novice edge for free, because you're a human. Now, um, if you are a huckster, if you are a mad scientist, um, if you are anyone who is going to be using powers of any sort, you need to take the arcane background as your novice edge. Uh -huh. You need to take arcane background weird science if you are a mad scientist. You need to take arcane background um, black magic if you're like a witch. You need to take um, what, what is it called for? Is it just magic for I think it's just magic for hucksters, but uh, it's just arcade. It's a huckster arcade background, actually. Yeah, there's a huckster background for it. Okay, cool. The season it uh, requirements of more points or anything on the edge. I can choose. I'm sorry. What was that? Uh, 
requirements for some edges. Uh, the ones that say season it uh, cost more. Ah, or, yes. Or... Uh, so edges um, are tied to like your rank. Whenever it says like novice or seasoned or anything like that, that is your hero rank. For right now, since we're building at level one and then we're doing the advances on top of it, you're going to take a free novice edge. So don't take any seasoned edges yet. Do you think a um, surgeon would fall under mad scientist, or do you think that that's a different... different that is up to, you. It's up to you. It's up to you, mate. You can play that however you want. If you want your character to be um, like a mad scientist surgeon who deals with that stuff, you totally can. Um, let me grab my thing here. Derek, is this is this going to be streamed? Yes, it is I'm technically on stream I'm, right I'm now. I'm streaming it. Oh, right cool. Now. <laughs> Excellent. So said, that's why I said get on camera, fucker. Oh, my eye look a mess right now. Well, you always look like a mess. Well, you're the one that's paying me a million dollars to have a porn hub yeah. video with me. <laughs> no, it's, tw uh, it's what is it? Twelve point five billion. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I, th I thought it was I thought it was wiki feet you were paying him for. <laughs> uh, it's going to be on my OnlyFans. So, <laughs> wow, <laughs> we get on a lot. Uh, as far as where are my Okay, so there's an arcane background for uh, each person. Like, there is arcane background shaman, if you're a shaman. Arcane background huckster, if you're a huckster. Um, that is the main thing to look at. I have to look at... You can also take a look at the professional edges, because those are cool. Now, some edges will say that they have requirements on it, like Smarts D8+, plus, or Fighting D6+, plus, or Occult D6+. Plus. Uh, that means that to take that edge, you have to have that skill um, in association with that. We'll get to skills in just a second. I'm just looking through to make sure everyone's got their hindrances in. I see... 2, 3, 4... Okay... Beast. Yeah, Beast I, I, isn't it? Yeah, I'm still trying to figure out what I want to do. Okay, take your time. And what does Nathan has to do? It's just scops. Ooh, territory ranger. Oh. I didn't mean to click that that way. Now that's Vigor D6, Fighting D6. Oh, wow, that is a lot of skills to have to take that. Jesus, okay. The hell 
what are you watching, Derek? I was just wondering the same, actually. <laughs> you hear that? <laughs> oh, yes, <laughs> very loudly. Can you hear that now? No. At least it wasn't loud. Okay. Oh, it could have been. It's what Phil was watching. Not what I'm watching. He's in the kitchen doing things, which means that the, uh... Our, our little Google screen thing that, like, plays mm -hmm. TV shows so that we can watch things while we're working in the kitchen is just a little loud. At least there, at least there's no, at least there's no borking. Well, yeah, where is the borker? He is under a blanket right now. Uh -huh. Wake him up. No. <laughs> so, you know that Curse of Strahd thing that I got yesterday? Yes. <laughs> Ralph is laying on top of it. And he's, of course. and he's like hanging off all over it. He's like, bitch, this is mine now. Pretty much. As I check the rest of these sheets. Saturday's good, Nathan's good, Scott's is good. And Steven is good as well. Um, oh, there's a healer. Need spirit game for All right, so, Beast, I know you're still working on things. I'm sorry. No, you're you're fine. Take your time. There is a lot of stuff. Still. Plus, yeah. I'm plus I'm juggling two different ideas at the same time. So. So the next thing, if I can find my Steve is attributes. So, attributes are cool. Um, there are obviously five of them. I will just open up piece sheet for a moment so I can take a look at those. Cool. There are agility, smarts, spirit, strength, and vigor. Uh, agility, agility is obviously agility. It is how fast are you? It governs a lot of skills like athletics. Uh, it also governs, I believe, fighting. It governs right. shooting. Um, so, that's how it is. Smarts is how smart your character are, is. Uh, it covers, like, the notice skill. It covers column knowledge. It covers, uh, it covers occultism. Um, like, and it's also the spellcasting skill for, um, like, arcane people. That's generally smarts. Uh, spirit is like mental resolve. Um, it is there for you to recover from being shaken, to fight back against uh, mind-altering effects, to uh, persuade people to do stuff, uh, to lie to people. Um, if you are a blessed, it would um, be your divine conduit from God to govern your faith skill. Uh, strength is uh, how super strong you are, it doesn't really have any attached skills. It just governs, like, carry capacity and toughness. Uh, vigor also doesn't have any attached skills. It governs carry, character capacity and toughness. Uh, vigor rolls are made whenever you uh, try to resist a physical effect or whenever you're, like, dying or anything like that. So, you have... A free D4 in all of those. Now, you have five yes. points to distribute that, among your abilities and among your attributes. Raising an attribute by a die type costs one point. They'll start at a D4. So if, say, I want to raise spirit from a D4 to a D6, that costs me one point, and then I have four left. So if you took your edge already, double-check your edge and see what you need for prerequisites so that you make sure you are fully correct in that. And keeping that. Now, if you need it, uh, the remember those hindrances we had earlier where we talked about four points? 
Uh, you can spend two hindrance points to raise an attribute by one die type if you need to. Or if you just want to. Oops. So feel free to make Shit. that stat spread. And that's just for the attributes, yeah? Yeah, that's just for attributes. Skills is uh, a little bit different, but it kind of works the same way. Alright, so you said five and then the four? Uh, five attributes. or You have five points to spend on your attributes for free. If you want to spend your hindrance points, it costs two points to raise an attribute by one die type. And then what else could you use the hindrance points on? Uh, you can use them to get another edge. You can use them for more starting money. Uh, you can use them for... You can use one to gain an additional skill point. Uh, that's it. Okay. So if you want a different, if you want another edge, you can spend two hindrance points to get another edge. Uh, I think I should do this correct. Uh, the data ring uh, has a lot of skills requirements. Uh, I read some of the how to buy skills, but for example, uh, you said we have core skills and the other skills I have to buy. So for example, if I want a D4 fight. I will spend one point of this 12 that we can spend on skills. Yes. Mm -hmm. ah, okay. Then I need to I use one more point from skills uh, to raise one point, but if the linked attribute uh, is below what I am leveling, uh, I have to spend two points. To... That is correct. Ah, okay. So, okay, I need to... Three. Check if everything's correct. So, yeah, just make sure that you are. Two, three, four. Uh, oh, one, two, three, four, five. This would be one, two, three, four, five. You've currently only spent five skill points so far. So just. Four, five. You've got seven more to spend. And then. So we added, we just put like under smarts, like the plus two. Is that what gets us up to the D8 or is that something else? Oh, sorry. Uh, click the die and that'll give you a drop down menu. Oh, okay. And then you'd select your die there. Um, don't worry about the plus modifiers. Uh, the plus modifiers are for um, other things. Uh, that's if you want to go above a D12. Uh, you don't go. It, like there, you'll notice there is no D twenty option. You can only go up to a D twelve, and the highest you can go with a racial modifier. It requires a racial modifier, but humans don't have them. Is a D twelve two, plus two. Two parry. Holy shit! Like I had, like I played in another game, and uh, we're rank uh, sixteen, and I have. I had a three parry up until. Level uh, 14. 13. 13 or 14. And then I started getting my ass kicked, so then I raised it. But holy shit. I mean, I'm just a gunslinger in there. I've never played a, a hex singing, a hex singer, so it would be uh, with powers and shit. I've never done that, so it would be pretty two, three, fun. Four, five. Cool. This chat's good. Um, probably. Fine. You know how I to play this game. I literally just did the attributes. Oh, I'm just asking. Fine. Yeah, that's fine. That's right. That is good. Uh, as long as it meets the prerequisite for your arcane background huckster edge, which it does. Which it does, because I haven't taken my skills yet. Yep. Because that one doesn't require a... Nope. Well, it does, technically. Because those skills are linked to a to an attribute, so. Yeah. But you'll be yeah. fine where you are, because none of them are linked to string. Yep. Um, and I can tell you, more than likely, raising up my shooting. <laughs> All right. So it looks like everyone's got their attributes in. So skills. Uh, skills work much, much, much the same way. Um, you have, except you have 12 points here. 
Now, you'll notice there are only five on your sheet. Don't click the add button and add them manually. Go into the compendium, go to suede skills, and you can drag and drop them from there. Whenever you drag and drop, it will give you a box. Um, there should be a... There's a die button there. Click the drop down for the die button, and that will let you change it. Hey, Derek. Yes. Uh, this is, is the Foundry. explode animated. Yes. It is. Oh. Uh, yeah, this is Foundry. Um, I Here, play. Roll a shooting die. We do uh, fantasy Until grounds. But, um, yeah, playing on Foundry is just so much nicer. Uh, those are in. You'd have to go into your dice settings and dice so nice. Uh, they're on my they're on my table, so you can use them if you want. It's under one of the custom dice themes. They were free. They they were offered for free, so I totally I got them. Uh, where are dice settings, Derek? Uh, click the settings button, which is all the way to the right side. Go to configure settings, yep. module settings, and then scroll down to dice. So nice. Dice so nice. And then, beside 3D yeah. dice settings, click My Dice Settings, and there you go. Oh. You can also set preferences and special effects to happen for, uh, for like, if you roll ones, or the max number of an, on a die, or something like that. Like. So you might have answered this, but my anyways, um, to add a skill, it costs one point, and then a point each to raise, yeah? Yes, exactly. <sighs> Spell casting, so it's two. They rate those iridescent ones are so nice. Yay! They're from the Rollsmith, uh, who oh, makes we'll... all of these different types Three. of virtual die and 3D models for. For Foundry, for dice, so nice, specifically. Uh, quick question. Quick answer. Uh, can you, t uh, can Cone of Honor be taken as a minor hindrance? Uh, it has it clicked for major, but it doesn't seem like he couldn't take it as a minor. Uh, um, Code of Honor. It's in the regular SWAT, uh, hindrances. No, this one is only a major hindrance. Mm. It will always say major or minor, if you can see Or, gotcha. Uh, as to the point where this person Five, takes this to six. the extreme, they don't ever break from it. That's why it's a major hindrance. Oh yes, six is because the code of honor is is literally like law to them. It, they will never break from that code of honor. And if you do break from that code of honor, that's whenever um, we get some penalties. Seven hindrances. So there's 12 points for skills, right? Yes. And how much does each one cost? Uh, it costs one point to raise it a die type. So if you don't have it on your sheet, it costs you one point to get it to a d4. And then it would cost you one point after that for each die type. Up to... You can only go up to what you have in the linked attribute. So... Uh, what's the easiest way to explain this? Um, I'll use Steven Sheet, for instance. So Steven, uh, in Gordio's character, has agility at a D8. He has picked up shooting, uh, which is linked to the agility tribute. So it costs him one point to buy shooting, one point to go to a D6, and then one point to go to a D8. Gotcha. Now, if he wants to go higher in his shooting... He can't, but it's going to cost him two points now to go because the attribute, because it's now higher than the attribute. So if you're going to go higher than the linked attribute, it costs you two points for everyone after that. So to get his shooting to a D10 with agility D8, instead of costing five points, it would actually cost him... It would actually cost him um, 
seven points instead. Cool. Uh, yeah. Like I said, um, check your edges, make sure that you're grabbing the skills that are needed for the prerequisites, if that's the one you really want. This is... I think this is better for... You said, we, like, said, you said we get a free edge, right? A yes. minor, uh, minor edge? Uh, free edge. Free novice Deadlands edge. Deadlands and yeah. Pathfinder, but Fantasy Grounds is still... Like, that is due to you being a human. Five Ooh. is best for... for They're this, the... I think. Actually, it's really powerful. They're the only ones who get it. This human humans get the free edge. Uh, the other races get Nine. other things in Slade, but uh, who knows? Ten. Ain't no aliens in Deadlands. Well, um. I don't know. I thought about making a Deadlands setting with cyborgs. Because uh. that's why. Oh, should I already have it? Cool. Uh, Oops. That would be pretty awesome. That's for another day. Ten. That is for another day, exactly. Cowboys um. and Mesa. Then you what? can have 30 30 for Don't judge me. Yeah, you can have, uh, there are. Okay, uh, that's the other thing to think about. Um, I am not a gun nut. Yes, it does. I know next to nothing about firearms. I know how to shoot them, and I'm a decent shot. But. This um, is why we have to chat here. When yep. it comes to, like, <laughs> what kind heavy. of ammunition <laughs> this uses, I know according to game rules. I know what the gun might look like. But past that, uh, I don't... I don't fully know. <laughs> so... If you have gun questions, honestly, if it sounds plausible, we're going to suspend disbelief and be good with that. If so, you have gun questions, ask Chad. Uh, or ask Chad. <laughs> is there <laughs> not... Guts in this? Like skills? Uh, guts is. That was a skill. Guts is. Guts isn't a skill. Oh, it's an edge. Yeah. Guts is an it... edge, yeah. I thought it was a skill for some weird ass reason. What a dumbass. Eat me. And it's a professional edge. It is. Shut up, James. Which requires a d6. And for fun, uh, Guts gets you a free reroll when making fear checks. Uh huh. It's kind of cool. And I do have a spirit at D6, but you know. I know you do. You're good. <laughs> you are um, not worried about it. Come on. Uh, um, it's, it's two points from the hindrances for one edge, yeah? Yeah, two uh, points from your hindrance points for one edge. Then I want to take that. So I have two left. Shut up, James. I knew that was coming. <laughs> See, I'm at eight, so I need four more. Oh, here we go. Whatever you say, Chad Grimm. Huh? What? I've got... Okay. This is good. Where can I find the classes to take a look at them real quick? Uh, there are no classes. Oh, I know the uh, the basically the uh, the abilities and stuff. Um, for, for what you're building, like mad scientists or or whatever, you know. Hold on. Sorry, I'm just uh, so you, uh, it's just, uh, I hate reading off a computer screen. I'm not doing a mad scientist. I was just asking like where where stuff is. Oh, that's where it is. Oh, uh, that's. Oh, like in uh, PDF. Like well, I, well, I can I can do it for today, but it's, it's really hard for me to read off the screen for a very long time. Uh, but yeah, where would you find the stuff like that? Um, you'd find it in the compendium, under journal entry, under Deadlands rules. It's gonna open a window. Uh, you can search for what you want, and then you should be able to find it that way. Yeah, okay. Derek, can you look at Waitly Blood? It's an edge. Uh, I'm sorry, which edge? Waitly Blood? Uh, wa Wait Waitly? Waitly? Waitly Blood. Okay, I was like, what is Waitly Blood? Waitly? Waitly? I don't know. Blue. I know, it oh, is. Waitly Blood. 
Hey, I want to. Okay, I'm just to so, make sure he allows. I'm just making oh, sure you allow it. These guys. Um. Just want to see if you allow it. Mm hmm. Yep. Requirements. Yeah. Yep. 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 Skin, drip, skin, drip, skin. Exactly. Yeah. Blood magic with your blood magic. As long as you are okay with the drawbacks for this. I am uh, yeah, absolutely. Because I could just fix that. <laughs> By taking attractive or charismatic or something. Uh, now for the meat of the edge, the hooks can voluntarily suffer a fatigue if for five dollar points or yeah, that's fine. Cool. Now I gotta finish up my last uh, skill points. I, know I got it would be four left. What are you looking for specifically? Uh, just the different, uh, like the description of like the, the 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 class type things, like 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 you showed me with the the mad scientist. Okay. Um, those are under, what are those under? Gotta find them. So they're under chapter six, No Man's Land. Are you writing? I don't see that. So under the Deadlands Rules thing. Compendium, there's a folder. So if you click the red folder, right. it opens up a whole bunch of black uh, folders. Oops. Then zero six Goes no man's land nine. Uh, I don't see that. Okay, uh, I can't show that, so I will screenshot you. I uh, appreciate. Oop. Okay, yeah. so this is why did I'm you? This is why I'm terrible at <laughs> foundry. I'm did you open the Deadlands Rules Compendium? House rule that bit out. Uh, you want to be a super so? plush? <laughs> Hell yeah! I'm okay. looking. I'm looking at uh, like what looks like it. Does it say Deadlands rules in the title bar for that little window? Yes, Deadlands rules locked. Okay, perfect. So there should be a red folder there, right? Uh, yes. Did you it, did you open that? Yes. Okay. So now you'll see a whole bunch of black folders that say zero one zero. Zero three, zero four, zero five, zero six, right? Correct. Correct. Uh, open zero six. That's no man's land. Why did I not see that before? I must be blind. I don't know. But uh, yeah, I think that's what you're looking for. Uh, I appreciate it. Uh, all right. I, I uh, want to open. Uh, what do you mean? Uh, how do you make your point? Well, hope so, <coughs> Harry's fighting, I think, right? Give me a second. Oh, yeah. Pretty sure Harry's from your fighting. I don't remember. Sorry to keep interrupting people. Uh, shut up. Persuasion. It's good. Ah, let's see. Ten. I'll take writing. Uh, oh, uh, I have far hindrance points. Uh, so I, I was thinking on buying more edges, but uh, in this case, I can, can I buy season, season uh, uh, edges not or novice? Yet. So not still yet. novice for for your first. Um... <laughs> no, uh, I have far quest points. I was thinking on buying edges with that. Yeah, uh, still novice edges uh. for for the hindrance points. Because we're you. still in RPG like. Salubrity. Uh, for the oh, yes. basic oh. character creation. Once we do your advances, yeah. then you'll be able to get seasoned edges. People like to do okay. that just to fuck with me. I appreciate it. Thank you, though. Thank you, thank you. Uh, <laughs> oh, God. Alright, so... Uh, try it now. So try... I have unlocked the compendium. Yep, it worked for me now. Okay. I mean, is the key. you're not wrong, especially like if I'm like focused on something else, and like not even paying attention, that it's like bam. <laughs> yeah, because I got. I see. I got three more points left. I got to figure out what I want to take. So, 
might raise that up. Okay. What was that? Notice. Oh, I'm trying to figure good. out if I took too many. I mean, uh, too many what? Uh, skills. Okay. Uh, this is good. Let me do some counting here. So, uh, one, two. Three, four, seven, ten, twelve. No, you're right. Okay. I have been pink. Thank you. So, and Gorgio really likes edges. <laughs> Only took three. Fair. Have you seen? Oh, I'll I'll send you a picture of uh, Albert next time we play. I have like ten edges or something like that. But I mean, it's like what we're rank sixteen, so. I mean, that's fair. Uh, no, I lost count. I think I'm at ten. <laughs> Fuck. All right. So, uh, you're One, a huckster. Two. Right? Yeah. Okay. So Until you start with season. three powers and ten power points. Yeah, I'm still doing my skills. <laughs> oh, okay. Cool. I think because I lost track. I think I'm at ten, but I don't. Let me double count. Yeah. Uh, you're not Two, three, who four, I thought. That is not who four, I thought it was. Um, here five, we are. Six, seven. Two, eight, four, nine, five, ten, eleven, seven, eight. 11. I count 13. 13. Okay, let me bump something down then. And you want to have a problem with having a Harrowed in the game? Nope. Yes. Oh. Why? What do you mean, why? Uh, uh, yeah, I mean, why? Because it automatically makes you powerful, more powerful than all the other characters. Mm. Yes, thank you. Remove uh, hot straight I will just. Out. Can I just play it down then, or something like that? Or? ETU no, campaign. no heroes. Playing this evening has a cure. Eight hindrances, fracking masochist. Uh, I wonder if. Yeah, there hit. goes oh, my God. concept. Um, I wonder if we can. No, I don't think so. I'm gonna double check. Uh, no, I can't look at my character on that game. Uh, yeah, he's 16. I'm. I can't, he has so many damn hindrances and edges. I can't even tell you. All right, so he said 10, what, eight, uh, three power or three power points and 10 powers. Uh, no, other way around. Okay. Ten power points, three. Power. Yes, <laughs> three powers. Okay. <laughs> yeah, because now this is where I have it because I've never played a spellcaster in here. So this is where it's gonna be cool. This is where I'll get interesting. Uh, yeah.
Let's die. Oh, there's the board. Where? You didn't hear that? Uh uh. Oh, cool. Good. No, I want to hear. Ah, there it is. <laughs> a little borker. Uh-huh. He is a little bork. He is a hunting dog. But... He thinks he's Yowch, though. He, yes. What Very... kind of dog? He's a mountain feist. He's beautiful. They're not in, they're not in a AKC recognized breed. They're a Kentucky Kennel Club recognized breed, though. Oh, wow. I was going to say, I have never heard of that breed. They're cute. They look like little uh, Jack Russell Terriers. They're like cousins to the Rat Terrier. Nice. You this little thing you'll ever wish to see. Uh, it's part of an Alsatian, though. RPG Saloon says Pixar did happen as you. Uh, RPG, watch it. Saloon. Is it uh, Sif Tony Pale? He's way uh, as uh, someone watching. There he is. Rudy! Oh. Hi, He's, Rudy. Uh, half of Ralph's size. Puppers. He's James, you can't even see Rudy. It's going to start down because he now wants to be let down. Oh. Hi, Rudy. Rudy. Hi, Rudy. Rudy. Okay. I just like, oh, I didn't. So, everyone good on skill? Yes. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> this is some of the powers, some of the powers of the. <laughs> <laughs> no, there is no that. You have no idea what you're messing with, little boy. Ooh, PowerPoint. What? Okay. Uh, uh, where's my next thing? Do not make me make your neck look like Spinoli. What was his name? Where are my roots? Close up. Close up. Close up. Alright, so uh, we don't it, need uh... to worry about derived statistics. Uh, those are automatically calculated. So, like, your pace, uh, your parry, your toughness, pace is how many squares you can move on the board, or how many inches you can move. Um, each character has a pace of six, uh, unless you have an edge or, sorry, a hindrance that reduces it. Uh, such as the obese hindrance or the elderly hindrance will reduce your pace. So Derek, is this um, homebrew or is it um, like a thing from someone? Uh, it is one of the brand new official Deadlands modules. So oh. this is the new updated edition of Deadlands. Uh, this is not Deadlands Reloaded, this is Deadlands The Weird West, uh, the 2020 version that was just released. Very nice. Yes. Yes. Has, has much changed? Uh, yes. Uh, you'll notice that you only have one color of Binny, right? Yeah, it's so weird. <laughs> That's yeah, true. I noticed that. So uh, what's happened with them? 
uh, all binnies work like regular binnies. Uh, there are no, like, weird trying to remember what red binnies and blue binnies Yeah, it's going to be weird. Shame. I enjoyed that. I hated those things. Can you, can, so can you still do the same things with them, or have they simplified it? Uh, they simplified it a little bit. They all work like regular binnies. Um, you can still soak damage, you can still um, re-roll a great roll, all that stuff. I will link the binnies rules real fast. Devlin's rules, where are you? Where did they go? Alright, cool. They're only in the suede rules now. Yeah. Sense not. Yeah. And yes, uh, I do allow people to influence the story with minis. Uh, that is a thing. I like it. So, you get to do it. Excellent. Power. Are you using uh, the action cards? Uh, action cards are just initiative. Are not action cards, those damn players. Adventure card. cards? Yeah, adventure cards. Um. Honestly, probably not. <laughs> I Let me think, think about uh, reading <laughs> those. I think it's best not to use them. They're so much fun, though. No. Especially when you're in a real bad battle and two players use cards to bring in allies and like ten more people uh, show up. <laughs> so uh, much fun. It just sounds overpowered. Oh, sounds like, like it. It sounds like it would cause Derek a hell of a lot of a lot of headaches. That's yes. okay. Derek knows I'm good at that. Yes. We, we, we're going to be causing him some headaches anyway. Or or let's see. You get uh you uh yeah yeah oh yeah you take zero damage from attack this round. Uh huh. Yep. Uh -huh. No. <laughs> Screw those. Uh. I know for sure. I know for sure. If I was ever DMing this, I would say you can go fuck yourself with the spiky end of a pineapple. That's not very nice. Fair enough. No, but it is fair. <laughs> it's not nice at all. When am I having nice, Chad? When it comes to you, you're always nice to me. It's my pony. I no. say we vote. I say we vote on him. No. Hello. Hello. I live for a second. Just checking. No, you're good. Welcome, welcome back. Um, now, uh, that should be edges. That should be skills. That should be attributes and hindrances. So the only thing left uh, for you guys is uh, gear. This is all the mechanical things that are left. So gear is still under items. Uh, there's Deadlands equipment and there's suede equipment. Obviously, um, try and use the Deadlands equipment as much as possible. A lot of things are going to fall under gear. Um, now, you all characters begin with 250 doll hairs. You get 250 doll hairs to... Uh, purchase your gear and to purchase pretty much whatever you want. 
Um, think about kind of what you'll want. So you might need a... You might need a weapon of some sort. You might need some clothes. You might need some food or some rope or a horse or armor or say you really want a cool duster and a Stetson hat. You can totally buy those. Yeah. Got that. my gear from my old character was in the Deadland rules. Okay, weapons. You can always search for things too, so like if you need a Colt uh, and you want a ranged Colt gun. There are obviously different types, but you just type in Colt into the Deadlands Equipments Compendium, and that brings up all weapons that have the word Colt in their title. Uh, there's a Peacemaker, there's a Navy, there's a Dragoon, there's a Buntline Special, there's an Ar Oh, a Buntline Special. Wow, that I can't read. Army, a Thunderer, Rainmaker, Lightning, Frontier. Uh, there's a Colt Patterson Model 36. There's a Colt Revolving Shotgun. That sounds terrifying. And then reading these things is uh, pretty simple. You just click on it. Um, it'll have the cost there. Do some math along the way. Unfortunately, it won't auto-deduct. Uh, there's no, nothing for that. Yeah, I was just about to say that. Yeah. So, range uh, is obviously how many inches that this thing can shoot. Giggity. So you said we start with 250, right? Yes, 250. Uh, if you still have some hindrance points left over and you want, and you think you might want additional equipment, uh, you can spend one hindrance point for an extra 250... Sorry, an extra $500. That is if you want to buy the entirety of the kitchen sink. of you actually yeah how to uh, James saying go fuck yourself with the the, the thing yeah now with the ammunition it does it you only get it's only one. Uh, you buy multiple of them. Uh, okay. Oh god. Are you sets. trying to do math on it? <laughs> They're four sets a piece. So oh, Jesus. Uh, oh. Uh, <laughs> are they point four or are they four sets? Uh, zero they... point zero four. Point zero four. Oh, okay. Use a calculator. <laughs> He's from oh. Missouri. What do you expect? It's better than being from freaking Sheffield. Yeah, you wish he lived over here. I don't. I've I've lived there, been there, done that. Had you the scars. You, had, you <laughs> wish you had the fucking kind of beer we had over here. Have have the scars to prove it. Let's not go into that. <laughs> yeah, I know. Edwin. Gear, ammunition. Is it the large pistol ammunition? No, those it's are the small, small pistol ammunition. Okay. How many do you want? A lot. What's a lot? A hundred. Okay, that's. Why are you worrying about the math for that? That's four dollars. Well, all right. I want one hundred, one thousand, one hundred twenty-seven. All right. 
That'd be 44... I don't know what the 27 would be. <laughs> That'd be $45 and 8 cents. Okay. That's 1,127. Please don't buy that much ammunition. You don't have enough carrying capacity for that. Um, they are zero, uh, 0 0.06 weight each. Yes. And I that can will actually fill up correctly. And I could wear nine. I have nine pounds left, so. <laughs> After now a thousand I, bullets? No, I got Where buy, are you I, putting I, them I got, all? <laughs> Do you really want to know? Yes. <laughs> I want to know. Uh, I'm just giving you shit. Now I'm I know. Gun belt. <laughs> These are the questions that you have to answer. <laughs> I don't got to answer shit. Uh, do we have to, like, buy our own... Uh, do we have to, like, buy clothes or is this going to assume we're wearing clothes? Uh, it's going to assume that you're wearing basic clothes, but if you want something special, then you got to buy it. Right. I mean, I assume... I, I'm i not going to be like, you didn't buy clothes, your character's naked. That's stupid. I mean... Make sure you drag your ammunition onto your... I haven't, I haven't got it yet. I'm okay. going to buy a belt first. Oh, if, my car if my character's a nudist, he's a nudist. Deal with it. Oh, these, okay. two, these two new guys are going to be like, what the fuck is wrong with these people? Yes. The answer <laughs> to the question is yes. Just yes. Starts throwing poo at you. Uh, Derek doesn't allow Clyde in his games. I'm no fun. He is. He really isn't. So, um... What... A bullets in suede, not deadlands. No, bullets are in deadlands. They're in deadlands. Uh, they're under gear. So, in the deadlands equipment compendium, under Sorry. deadlands gear, under ammunition. Deadlands gear... Just check. Uh, the ranger I just, uh, gives me uh, one shotgun, one horse, and one armor. Uh, can you check if it's correct? My, my shit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That thing, the thing that gives it to you, yes. That is part of that professional edge. Where does it tell you which ammo type you need? Oh, what gun are you looking for? What gun are you using? I am using a Colt Peacemaker and a double barrel shotgun. Uh, uh, small for the right. Uh, so small sorry. and shotgun shells. Yeah. So pistol ammunition small. Yeah. And then how how much roughly do you think ammunition we need? I don't know. How much do you want to carry? I don't and know. I don't know how much I fucking well, need. And how well, often? Well, oh sorry. Okay, so here's the thing. Um, I will explain the premise real fast for people who have not read the player's introduction. So, <laughs> player's introduction. Uh, you guys, it is May 1884. Uh, trouble's brewing out west in Uinta County. Uh, folks have been going missing in the vast Aspen Forest near Heaston Hill. And now, the U.S. agent that was sent to investigate has vanished without a robot. Oh, I'm roboting? I hear him fine. Oh. Well, a shadow organization called the Twilight Legion has put together a posse of sorts. Uh, that's you! If you're reading this booklet, uh, your cowpoke scene is soon to be out on her, his or her way to the wild western Wyoming. Uh, this booklet contains information, yada yada yada, um, practical matters. So, uh, you're being sent out here um, as part of the Twilight Legion. Uh, you're basically part of a secret organization of monster hunters. Um, and you have some ways to identify yourselves. Now, as far as how much ammunition you'll need, there's not really much way to tell. Uh, most of you have never been to the place where you're going, which is Easton Hill, and you went to County. Um, this is wild Wyoming mountain country. Uh, it's about, about a mile above sea level. And it is defined by two big old river valleys. You have Bear River on the west and Black Fork on the of the Green River in the east. Uh, there's a mountain range that splits them right down the center. 
known locally as a divide. Um, generally more arid in the east, more alpine in the west. Winters get really, really cold. Um, most people here are miners, loggers, trappers, uh, people who work for the Denver Pacific. Um, and then ranchers and farmers are growing. There are a few um, Indian tribes around here as well. Uh, Shoshone, Bannock, uh, Ute, and almost always and they tend to migrate throughout seasonally um and then the rest of that is stuff that you all need to look at and read for headstone nugget because that's kind oh, of Jesus Christ ammunition's heavy yes it is uh, question uh, how often will we be in like going to like towns and city or um places? So the entire, t the almost the entirety of this takes place within a town. Oh, okay. yeah. So you'll have access to stores. You'll have access to restaurants. You'll have access to uh, civilization and people. So you'll be in the town of Houston Hill. Um, if you want to venture outside of Houston Hill, you're more than welcome to. Um, there are tons of places you can go. There are tons of different towns and places throughout the region, but... Eric, does it have, like, a backpack system where you can put stuff in a backpack and it reduces weight? Uh, no. So everything you carry, it goes to your weight? Yes. Jesus and Christ. If I remember... I think there's a way to raise your carrying vest, I think. There is. Raise your strength. Yeah. You have gone super robot. Raise your strength while raising your character. Carrying I can't understand a word you're saying right now. We'll let it fix. I, I can hear. It's me that's the problem. I've yeah. got one bar. Can uh -huh. you hear me? He'll be back. Uh huh. Fine. <laughs> yeah, my Discord just went poopers. So raising your strength will raise your carrying capacity. Oh dear. I'll just do that here next uh, advance. So question on weapons. Do you have to have like a specific fighting skill to be able to carry say a knife or does everybody just get to do that? Nope. You can use anything you want. Uh, so if like you're carrying a knife and you want to use a knife but you don't have the fighting skill, um, then it gets rolled as untrained. So you would roll a d4 minus 2, looking for your target number. Okay. Ghost Rack or is listed in the thing? Can we buy it? Yes. Really? In fact, you can. No shit. I was being a smart ass. <laughs> I know. <laughs> wow. Shh. Shut but up, you James. can buy it. Chat. James. Shh. Eat me. It's expensive. It's a hundred. Like an ounce. Uh-huh. No, I was just... I was, I was just, uh, just as cool. Ooh, I have... Oh, you can't buy relics. That is the one thing you can't buy. God damn it. How'd you know I was looking at that? Are you yeah, watching my stream? <laughs> you know, they actually my don't stream. even have costs associated with it. Uh, well, I was going to buy Earp's badge. Because as soon as I saw it, because, you know, he's Steven. Fucker. God damn it. Read that power, and you tell me. Uh, okay. Uh. Oh. <laughs> yeah, no. yeah. No. Even the taint adds a plus one to all of your persuasion. No. Yeah. Yeah. Now, do these exist in the world? Absolutely. Uh, is it possible for you to find them? Also, absolutely. Can you use them after you find them? Sure. Go for it. 
But for right meow, no. Um, could we get a like a, a a mule and saddlebags and put shit in the saddlebags? Yes. So to reduce our weight, essentially. Yeah. They cost fifty dollars for a meal. No, that's fine. I have one hundred ninety. And then saddlebags are five dollars a piece. Uh huh. Uh, I have to look up mules. <laughs> I don't know. I love how they're equipable. Give me a second. How, how often will characters be um, going to town? All the time. So there's a chance to restock and stuff? Yes. Oh wait, no, you said we were mainly in a town anyway, so I'm not going to buy it. There's no point. I do believe my gear is done. Cool. And then the next thing is uh, your character's background information, so like backstory and stuff. And then we've got to do advances and edges and all that stuff that advancements uh -huh. do. Now, question, since we're doing advances, after we do advances, can I just go back and buy some more stuff? After you do your advances, can you go back and buy stuff? Yeah. Yeah. Because essentially, sure, I'll let you do that. Uh, I could have just asked you. Yeah, I'll let you do that. So I want a duster, but it, it's way, way too long. Oh, you're going for the money advance. Gotcha. No, I'm wearing a duster. Like uh, I want to wear a nice little duster thingy. No, oh, I had, I had, I had them. I had the money. I just oh. don't have the carrying capacity, so I got to raise the strength. Oh, okay. 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 Gotcha. Gotcha. You're crazy pixelated on strength right now. Some things never change. <laughs> wow. Good fix. Yeah, everything's sorted on my end. I'm ready to move on whenever everyone's done. Okay. Same. I'm good. Cool. All right, Nathan. Uh, you get. Something. Give me one second. Boof. Boof, boof, boof. Where is my button? Where did that go? Boop. Boop. Too many things on my screen. Boop. Okay, so uh, you're a mad scientist. Uh, mad scientists start with 15 power points and two powers. So you have some extra things to choose here. Um, now, powers are cool. Uh, they're basically magic spells, essentially. Um, Mad scientists use their magic spells a little bit differently. Like they make, they would make items or like potions or elixirs or something that someone could, that they would use that would give, then give someone else this effect. 
So like you might make a healing potion. Uh, that would be the healing power, essentially. Okay. So you have a list of available powers. I will show this to players since I can't show it to everyone. So mad scientists, they have a list of available powers. Uh, those are all of the powers that a mad scientist can take. Um, there's a whole bunch of them. These aren't just novice powers. These are powers that go all the way up through the ranks. Like uh, elemental manipulation. No, that's novice. Uh, like warrior's gift. Warrior's gift is a seasoned power. Uh, teleport is also a seasoned Telekinesis seasoned as well. So you get to choose two of those, and then you have 15 power points to spend on. And you said it's got to be novice, right? Uh, yes, got to be novice powers for right now. Danger, dead shot, quick draw. Siskis is easy. Shotgun shells, pretty animation. Does Jacqueline. Julio! It's going to take you forever then. <laughs> so make sure you uh, get your powers in order. That's <laughs> such a dick. Oh shit, I meant to put that up because I got to. I've just added a new power so I can fill out your power points. Uh, you get 15 power points and two. Nope. Oh, not this thing. Nope. Ralph, one. Go on. No. Ralph. You want to come say hi? Oh, yeah. Oh, it's a cat. It's a Ralph. Ugh. It's a Ralph. We're going to reap in high. Yeah, we're playing some Deadlands. Uh, session zero. I know it's Ralph. These people. The CP is not me. He's, uh... Actually, he's watching me right now. Hi, Ralph. Can you say hi? You want to say hi? No, you don't want to say hi. Ralph. Hey, Ralphie. Oh, Ralph. I just knocked like everything off my desk. Ralph. Jenny. <laughs> It's a 30 pound Ralph. Ralph. Hi, Ralph. <laughs> oh, Ralph. Currently, there is a wasp flying right outside my window, and Ziki is staring at it intently. <laughs> hi? You say hi? There's so many of these that are so cool, but it's like, it wouldn't fit with my character. Yep. But you can make it fit. Um, this is the great thing about powers, I guess, is this kind of the time to explain that, I suppose. Um, so, powers are cool. Uh, suede powers are cool. The way magic works in suede is awesome. Um, let me find my adrenal entry. Suede rules. Powers. 
Did they duplicate this in Deadlands rules? Because I mm -hmm. think they made it mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> so. Powers. Rough. So, you make an arcane skill roll whenever you choose to activate a power. That's easy peasy. Um, makes sense? Yeah. Uh, you want to succeed on that skill roll, so your target number is a four. You'll spend at least one power point, uh, regardless of any edges, such as channeling, unless the ability specifically says it reduces the minimum cost to zero. So every power requires at least one power point, unless the ability specifically says that it would reduce the cost to zero. Right. So if something says it minuses power points from the power point cost from activation, um, it can't go lower than one, unless it says it can go to zero. Now, four or higher means the power activates, consumes all power points that were allocated to it, even if it misses. So, if a bolt misses, you still get rid of the power points. Um, success just means you resolve the effects. Uh, raises have additional effects based on the stuff in the power's description. Now, if you critically fail, if you roll double ones on both your attribute die and your wild card die and your wild die, that's snake eyes. Uh, it means uh, that you will cause a level of fatigue, and if you have any active powers, they will all go away. So, like if you're sustaining deflection, if you're sustaining booster lower traits, um, something that lasts for a long time, you're sustaining that power. If you suffer backlash, all of your powers in. Gotcha. Now, uh, you must be able to see a target and you must not be bound to cast. Yeah. I'll keep track of all these things. Uh, don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> Crit fails are kind of fun. Now, snake eye, especially snake eyes. Oh, Jesus Christ. You can short stuff, so if you don't have enough power points, you can short rolls. Um, but you will suffer a minus one penalty to the roll for every power point that you are short. Gotcha. So it's risky, and if you fail on a shorted arcane skill roll, it's automatically counted as a critical failure. That's why it's risky. Yeah. So it can be, it can be good, but it can also be bad. Now, that's basic activation of powers. So, powers themselves have quite a few properties to them. They all have a rank. They all put the amount of power points they take to use. That's Easy peasy. Ranges, easy peasy. If it says that, if, if in the range, if it says just a, like, attribute name, so like a range of smarts, a range of smarts would mean a number of inches equal to the die size. So if you have a smarts of d6 and it was range of smarts, your range would be six squares. Oh, nice. Uh, duration is obviously how long it lasts. And then she trappings. Says, so trappings are descriptive ideas and suggestions for how a power might look or manifest in different types of settings. Um, you are... You have complete control over these. For trappings. So you can choose what your powers look like. How they activate. What they do. Um, like... A bolt power might someone might fire a swarm of bees to attack their foe, and that's their bolt. Someone else might shoot red lasers from their eyes. That's their bolt. They share the same mechanics, but they look and are described differently. Shoot um, the finger. Yeah, exactly. Trappings do matter when an obstacle or opponent has a particular strength or weakness. So if a if an ice troll suffers plus four damage from fire or heat based attacks, um, a blast a player describes as a fireball counts as fire counts as a fire attack and does plus four damage. Now you can't change your trappings on the fly. Right. Because of this reason. So like if you're like, oh well that's done to fire. But you can add trappings over time due to edges and advancements and things like that. Cool. Now synergy does exist, so um like zapping someone while they're standing in water. It'll cause additional damage. I, I like that rule. I think it's cool. So, go for it. And then, uh, trappings can also impose limitations. 
So you can give powers focus at the expense of versatility. So limitations are permanent, and they're always in effect unless you change them with an advance later, which is what we're about to get to. Um, each limitation placed upon a power per reduces the amount of power points that it costs to use by one, to a minimum of one. If it would reduce it to zero, you get a plus one bonus to the arcane skill roll total instead. So basically, if you um, took the bolt thing, and you it only it actually bolt only costs one. That's a bad that's a bad example. Um, what costs multiple power points? Blast. Uh, if you had blast and blast costs two power points, but you wanted to make it like. You say you were making like a full metal alchemist inspired character like Roy Mustang, and so whenever you put your hand against somebody, they would explode. Um, you would change your blast to range of touch, and that would reduce the amount of power points it would cost to activate. But you would have to touch somebody to use it. Yeah, so the range is really small. Yeah, exactly. Um, so you can impose limitations on your spells to get benefits. Uh, that's up to you. Now, you can make it personal, you can make it uh, touch, you can make it, um, and and then you, if you have things like sloth speed or boost and lower trait, you can say that you only have access to lower trait, or boost trait, or speed. But you don't, you won't have access to both anymore, but it's a limitation, so you would subtract from the power points that it costs to activate. That's cool. So, you can add trappings whenever you take the new power's edge. Uh, whenever you get a new... Uh, and you can instead in add trappings to your powers in place of one or two of the new powers. Um, like, a hero who takes the new power's edge, for example, could choose one new power and add an ice trapping to her bolt spell. Now, generally, I will let you, like, change the trapping of an existing power when you gain an advance, um, but it would be, like, a major character in some way. Like, a major character change. So, like, if your character had a crazy big aversion to fire, but we finally gotten over that, um, I would probably let you change your bolts or your blasts uh, and let you finally have that fire thing that you probably Does all of that make sense? Yeah. Okay, perfect. Uh, it's, that's... Like, one of them, it's like, it sounds really cool, it's just not something that I can see my character actually doing. No, that's totally fair. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, yeah, that's really awesome and I like it, but would this character actually do that? I like <laughs> So, there are tons of different power modifiers as well. So power modifiers allow you to customize your spells. Uh, you add a special effect that better reflects your power's trapping. Uh, power modifiers are selected each time a power is activated and may be freely changed at any time. So you might say that you want to do something. Um, say your icy bolt. Uh, you shoot an ice bolt at somebody, but you want it to be armor piercing this one time. Uh, you would say that you want it to be an armor piercing modifier and then you'd have to spend some extra power points to get that armor piercing effect from one to three, essentially. Make sense? Yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, you must declare which modifiers you're rolling, you're, or you're using before rolling your arcane skill, by the way. And you can always apply a modifier to any casting unless the modifier says differently, but only once per casting. So, like, you can only have one modifier on... Wait, can you only have one modifier on each cast? Yes, you can only have one modifier on each cast. All right, quick question. Quick answer. <laughs> I, I knew you were going to say that a little bit. Um, in the time zone this is set, does the Hellstrom company exist? Uh, Hellstrom exists, but it's on a much smaller scale than it was previously. Yeah, We've jumped asshole. five years into the future. Yes. He's a fucking asshole. Hellstrom is a... Um, Drew, we're, we're about this close to killing him, so yeah, we've been dealing with him for a while. Fucking asshole. 
Well, they do exist, but they've lost a lot of power. <laughs> yes. Good, that fits exactly where I was going. I can't say anything because uh, it's kind of spoilers a mm -hmm. little bit for the adventure that Chad's playing in the flood. Yeah, please um, don't. <laughs> yeah, it, it is because it is kind of meta plot. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, that's all I wanted to know if it exists still or not. Yep. You can thank the uh, the dead posse for uh, raiding him. Hmm. Can we? <laughs> okay. So, uh, getting back onto. The last thing. Uh, is does it, should, I, should, should I be filthy rich? So, character advancement uh, works kind of cool. Um, you don't. We don't have levels, really. Uh, we have advancements and ranks. So, season novice characters have between zero and four, or no, zero and three advances. Um, then, seasoned characters have between four and seven advances. So we're starting with five advances. So you're going to start at seasoned rank, and then you get five advances to choose. Three of those advancements must be novice advancements. The next ones you can do seasoned stuff with. So you'll have two seasoned advancement options and three novice ones. Now, to get into those... Ah, uh, character advancements. So, with your first three advancements, you can do any of these following things. I'm just going to show this to you guys. Boom. So an advance lets you do one of the following. You can gain a new edge. You can increase a skill that is equal to or greater than its linked attribute, one die type. You can increase two skills that are lower than their linked attribute by one die type. You can increase one attribute by a die type. Uh, you can only take that one once per rank. So you could technically take it twice, but one would have to be in the first three, and then the second one would have to be in the last two. Then you wouldn't be able to take it again for the rank of season. And you can also permanently remove a minor hindrance or reduce a major hindrance to a minor, if possible. Not all of them are possible to be reduced. Uh, those are all the things you can do for advances. So decide on what you want to do if you want to add edges. Uh, so you guys uh, that have powers, if you want more powers, the only way to get them is to take the new powers edge, which will give you the choice of two brand new powers. That, since you are seasoned, if you're taking it in the novice ones, you're going to only have to pick from novice powers. If you're taking it in the seasoned one, you can choose from seasoned powers or novice powers. Up to you. So essentially, if we wait to rank four, then we can just pick new powers and then either season or novice. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Okay, thank you. I, um, I know that. And on your character sheet, on the biography section, or on the last one, I don't remember what it what it's for. About. Under the about, about ones, yeah, there is an advances box. Um, I have made a list in there for five advances. If you click the little, if you hover over that, you'll get a little gray icon box. Click that, and the, that will let you edit the field. Um, just change to what you took. This is how I keep track of character auditing in case I, so I don't have to be like, well, what advance did you take there? Or what did you do there? Um, it how, keeps how do, how do we well, exit out of that box? Uh, there is a little downwards arrow right above it oh, yeah. you'll see the quotes and then you'll see a down arrow with a little like drive under it that's the save button uh, click the save button all right so see that. oh sorry in discord mm -hmm. uh give me one second to put a uh yes in. this is boundary no i wanted to um, skip it, skip i actually it. like it because okay. i played uh, that lands in another is... game on fantasy grounds and I think this is a lot better, to be honest. Like, That's this is our session zero. Copy. But I've been watching, like, me and him went over some shit, like, how it works, and I think it's a lot better in Foundry. Oh, right. To be completely honest. Why? When I try and click it, I get a little um, red circle. A red circle? Oh, it's because I haven't edited it. Right. 
So, how much do things cost? Oh, Is it one? Yep, just one advance. If a power is just listed as rank... Oh. Oh, uh, which power? Uh, it's numb. Numb? Yeah. Uh, that's a dead man's power, correct? Uh, yeah, I use this... Um, yeah, this is Foundry. Um, I play another game in Fantasy Grounds, and I like this a lot better, like... Me and Derek went over a lot of shit. This one, I don't know. I have to check works. the... And that's why I have It's actually kind of cool for uh, Deadlands. So I can no. double check. Uh, Fantasy oh, Grounds will oh. stay... Uh, uh, D&D will definitely stay on Fantasy oh. Grounds, but for Deadlands, I like uh, Foundry. Forwards. Oh yeah, 140, holy shit. I have found that it exists, but I can't find the, the power. So where, uh, so where is like this new power thing? The new power's edge? Yeah. Uh, it would be under suede edges. Oh, it's in suede, is it? That's why yes. I can't see that. Give me a second on numb. Um, okay. Now, how do you raise power points? Uh, that is the power point section. Oh, okay. So you have more attention to edges. <laughs> I, I, I mean, I, I'm pretty sure it's called power points. Um, yeah, it's, it's power points. <laughs> it gives you five additional power points. You can take that edge as many times as you like. Okay. But only once per rank. Once per uh, rank, yeah. Yes. I right, see. So we start off at rank. So technically, I'm still rank one, right? Yes. Until you choose that advance, then you'll be rank two. Okay. Um, Which was zero. Was my strength? So now rank two. Three. Okay, cool. And advance two is still novice. So advance three would go up into season, or it's, I can't remember. Uh, advanced three would still be novice. Advanced four would take you to season. season. Okay, cool. So power. No. And then I'll do the, the edge. Edge. So one more power. Points. Num is, I believe, a seasoned power. Okay. Oh no, it's a novice power. Ooh. Oh, it is? Yeah, novice power. Awesome. Done. So um, I need to I need to actually report that into the suite into the Foundry Discord so they can fix that in the compendium. Deadlands, the weird west, page seventy six. Okay. So I have a Savage.us subscription, which is like a, um, it's a character builder for Savage Worlds. Which is cool shit. It's really good. It is really nice. Um, I was hoping that they would have the, like, GM games set up. They're planning on that feature, it's just not in yet. And then we could have just, you know, built on there, but unfortunately. But yeah, Num, uh, it is a cool power. Uh, another question. Um, increase two skills that are lower than their length. All right, so say I have common knowledge, which is smarts. That's a D4, and then my smarts is at six. Um, could I do that one and then another one, or is, does that... Work? They don't have to be the same attribute. So, yes. All right, so, I, so essentially, since my attributes at a six for smarts, I can take my D4 to raise it to a D6, and then another D4 and raise it to a D6. Yes, okay. as long as it's lower than that other than that second skill linked attribute. Okay. 
Okay. You could also use it to gain a new skill. Right. If you wanted to. Uh, that's well, how you well, gain skills. Well, I wanted to take. I gotta take my nose roll. It was too damn slow. Oops. Six, and then. Coming now. Uh, let's see. Do I have anything else with smarts? That's a d4. Oh, alright, so we'll take that one up to a d6. What was that? I'm thinking out loud. Oh, okay. No, totally fine. I am the same way. I have an inner monologue and it never goes away. Mine never does either. My medication helps, but not completely. Right? Powers. Da, 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 da. That one. Here we go. Let me see how everybody's getting on with their advances. Ooh, agility. Oh, oh shit, actually, I have to take. Nice, nice, nice. I have to take. Oh, good thing I didn't do this because I would have fucked myself. What'd you, what were you going to do? <laughs> well, I forgot. I had to take Hexlinging Edge, but I couldn't do that till I was seasoned. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's a. <laughs> I, almost, I almost fucked myself. Yep. <laughs> That is, uh, so advance four or advance five. Yeah, I almost fucked myself on that. I'm being a stickler, but I don't want your character super crazy. Power. No, no, you're absolutely Um, because I've looked through this, and it's not, like, like, I've run some of the sample combats in this, they're not super crazy. There's one that I'm really excited about, though, and I can't wait for it. I'm so, so excited. Because <laughs> it has the best of images. Love it. Oh, Lord. I can't show it yet. It would give it away. So, it says you can increase a skill, um, or increase two skills that are lower, which includes taking a new skill that you didn't have before. So, could I take that skill and then raise it one die? Um, or just take it. I would say just take it. Okay. And that's a that's a weird thing that I hadn't thought about. I would say just take it. All right. So if an edge says you gain a power just for taking the edge, I just get it. Yeah. Uh, okay. Does it say you gain a specific power? Yes. What power? Ammo whammy. Oh, ammo whammy. Yes! <laughs> yes. Ammo Whammy is a, such a cool power. But what's your name on it, man? Oh my god. Also, it's the only way to get that power, by the way. Yes. Yes, it is. Make sure you read through these read through and keep a note as to what these things do, because I'm not going to remember. Oh, the powers? Uh, no, the ammo whammy effects. Oh, yeah. Because yeah. while the power is active, so for five rounds, uh -huh. and each and shot you each fire, shot. you can choose one of those. Uh-huh. Like... The or explosive. if you get a raise, you get two simultaneous events. Ghost bullet. Gives it AP six, which is insane. Yes it is. <laughs> <laughs> so 
Same with loaded for bear. Uh, pistol yep. does 2d6, says 2d8. Uh-huh. I, I like the name on the last one. Just uh-huh. Run out there. That's got to be like Urban Dictionary somewhere or something else. And I need no, to no, no, don't look it up. Oh, God. If you look it up and there's something, just link it to me because I want to know. Okay. <laughs> I know you did. Uh huh. Alright, so that's ring. There is a sad panda. We should uh, but there... pick something up. All right, uh, the last rank. What do I want to do? Well, do I just want to be rich? I mean, don't have to worry about money. I might just be rich because I don't have to worry about money. It's an option. I know. I'm surprised no one went for uh, Chi Master. <laughs> or Shaman. Shaman looks cool. Honestly, witches and witches are super cool. I really like witches. But I'm a blessed player at heart. We had a blessed player get viciously killed by this fucking asshole. Yep. Rest in peace, Father Miguel. Uh, Shit, yeah, we're just gonna take that to a D10. What did you could say you could raise with powers again, Derek? Sorry. Bang. I'm sorry. What? So, you, so you can use it to raise attributes, take an edge. Mm-hmm. Increase... Uh, getting increased skills. Yep. Or um, get rid of a hindrance. Minor. Yeah. yeah minor. Okay. Hindrance. Yep. Thank you. So did you say you can only raise an attribute once per rank? Yes. Mm -hmm. Right. Hey, James. Yep. Did you take research at all? Yep. Well, 
Do you have it up pretty high? Uh, uh, right. mm, middle tier. Same, okay. I was debating on if I wanted to put anything... Because if you already had it, I was going to forego. I'm going to roll pass. Oops. Hey, James, I did it again. Oops. What do you do? Uh, <laughs> I just rolled... I just rolled a lot on a random roll that I clicked in chat. Naughty. We'll be having less of that. Uh, James, James can, uh, can attest... When I remember when I rolled the thirty-six damage. Mm-hmm. From two d six. That's it. Ain't bad. Thirty-six off of two d six. Yeah, that's not bad. <laughs> I had like five dice explode. It was great. <laughs> it was pretty not great, if you ask me. Not great for you guys. No, you guys died three you times. Did. <laughs> it was really funny. <laughs> it's awesome. Shut up, James. Whenever you uh, TPK your party three times in one session. Yeah. <laughs> We've got that. Damn. Oh, and the other thing that I need from you guys is art. Uh, you don't have to worry about making tokens. I can do that unless you really want to make your own token. But, um, it's up to you. Are you sent you mine? Being an artist, I will get you some kind of art. I can sure. give you stuff temporary now, but I'll, I'm pretty sure I'll draw this character at some point. Awesome. Yeah, that works. All right, let's clear my chance. And let me look at this is characters. Wow. Not right there. <coughs> Woo! Hey James. Hey Chad. Give us ten gold. No. Asshole. I don't have to, I don't have ten gold to give you. No prat. Stupid goblin. <laughs> that is a powerful character. Who? Siskops' character. Nice. Strong. Oh, um, I should say this as well. Uh just so everyone knows. When the way combat works in Savage Worlds, uh, you need to declare what you are going to do on your turn at the very beginning of your turn. So, um, say like it comes up to your round of initiative before you do anything, you need to say like, "Hey, I'm going to uh, move over there. I'm going to fire three shots." Because if you take more than one action, you are going to take a penalty to all actions in that round. So like. Just make sure you get that. Uh, if you take two actions, you'll perform a minus two penalty on both. If you take three actions, you take a minus four penalty. Was that mac and cheese? What'd you put in it? Pepper. Okay, it'll be fine. But yeah, uh, that's how multi-actions work. Uh, free actions, uh, multi, don't apply to... Uh, multi-action penalties don't apply to free actions, and um, you can perform multiple actions at different points in your movement. So, like, you can break your movement up and say, I'm going to move here, fire once, move over there, fire again, move over there, fire a third time, and you'll take a minus four to all of your 
uh, all of your shooting rolls for that. Or all of your gunshots, essentially. But also only up to three. That is just... Whew. Those rules. Uh, Kutra, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. This character is strong. This character is very strong. When being shot. Jeez, I only spent 60 gold. Or 60 dinero. Oh, also, uh, feel free to rename your powers. Uh, so, like, if you have the smite power or something, you can name it something that makes more sense for smite for your character instead of it. Instead of using Spike. Hello. I did a double pair shot then. Oh. I were cute. Uh, one question. Uh, yes. uh, my idea for the character was that. I did a very combat uh, concept on my character, but uh, I wanted to put some hindrance that uh, I didn't know if you, it was going to be... Um, to, uh, it will make my character too weak, for example. I want to add a trauma on him. Uh, he's carried off uh, explosion and and shooting weapon. So I was thinking something, for example, uh, uh, until he he got used to uh, a com combat environment, he lost his first turn. Then uh, when a adrenaline kick is in, he it's alright. So it would be kind of uh, nice towers endurance, uh, but I'm adding, I'm making it worse. So the character has some marching story about okay is that um, possible uh is that in the balance set what do you, do you think it's possible but it might be too big of a drawback for you ah. it, it's going to be very very large um do you have how about i i have a better i have a suggestion that might work um pick i would say pick two cards or pick three cards so like playing cards the way initiative works in this game is playing cards um, and they go in reverse suit order so clubs go last um, if something is a tie between numbers so I would say pick two or three cards and whenever those cards if those cards come up on an initiative round for you will say that you're shaken. So we'll give you the shaken whenever that comes up on your initiative round. So that way you'll have a chance to recover from it, and then if you recover from it, you can say how you do that. Um, that might be a little better, 
but we can talk about it throughout the week. Okay. If you want, because we'll get we'll get really into it Sunday, and then yeah, we can totally figure those things out. Um, I don't want to give you too big of a drawback. Is the thing like I I I basically don't want you to you know lose that first turn and be like ah, I could have saved myself by moving over here. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Because uh, that yeah, would feel uh, really bad to me as a player. So, yeah, the thing is, I don't know how combat works, so I didn't know if he, it was going to be a big drawback or not. But oh yeah, I was, yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, losing a turn is huge. Mm -hmm. Okay, <laughs> uh, I think uh, I'm going to think on other things that can balance this out, but I. I would like some more drawbacks than is on, on my char character sheet right now. Absolutely. Yeah, we can make some more drawbacks if you like. That's no problem. Um, and w yeah, we'll think about those throughout, throughout the week. Um, getting, like having flat reductions to things is uh, pretty strong. Um, is like a pretty strong penalty, so like... <laughs> um... <laughs> hmm, yeah, I will think, I, I'll think Thanks, about that. Fred. I'll, I'll have up, some man? options for you, probably tomorrow. I've got to write some things down. Thank you for the heart attack, appreciate it. Sounds happens. good. Also, feel free to uh, take a look and read through the and uh, read through the combat rules if you like. Um, I, I'm go obviously going to explain it as it comes up. Oh, oh god! god. Heart attack. If you want to know some more, um, and just to see how things are balanced, so that you might make some decisions about that too. It would be probably best to just read through them. Yeah, okay. I will I will see that section and decide what should do after that. Yeah. But past that, um that is our three hours. Wow, that was easy. So we will get started in play next week. And uh, the only thing that I need rest from you guys is A, finish up your character sheets, and then B, um, I just need art. Cool. You guys mine. Yeah, I have yours. Uh, can you give me like a bust-ish picture and not just a token? Ugh. As well. What are tokens? Uh, so tokens are generally circular images or top-down images of your of your character, so that way it's easier to see on mm -hmm. the on a map. Oh, gotcha. Yeah. So it looks like a like a little mini figure. Huh? Yeah. Uh huh. What? Wow, that bodes well. Oh, not enough ammo. What the fuck? Yeah, you have to you have to load your weapon. How the hell did you? Well, you can hit the reload manual ammo button if you want. Oh. So can the trapping of a power be like like a physical thing instead of like just something that the person does, or does it is it something that comes from some kind of like innate supernatural not physical object no it can be totally physical so like especially with mad scientist uh with oh, mad yeah. scientist oh, it's yeah. very much the uh well say they have the burst power or or the blast power um theirs might be throwing grenades you know that's how they have manifested their power is they have made grenades, and they threw grenades. 
Perfect. Cool. It does. Nice. Just like a Hexlinger might... I don't know what a Hexlinger might do. Um, huh? They might load... They might load uh, talismans into their gun. Or, like, rolled up scrolls into their gun and then fire them at their allies for things like burst or something, you know? Or things uh -huh. like deflection or something, you know? Uh -huh. And then shoot their friends. Shoot your friends to heal them. That's how it works. Protect your friends by shooting them. I would never. Except for, except for whoever James is playing. Well, shut up, James. <laughs> I'm not mean. Uh, well, I think we're good. What time is it? Five? Oh, shit, that was a fast three hours. Yeah! Remember, you're building characters for fun the end. Um, oh, this map is going to come up a lot, so I can show you guys. Uh, I will activate this and pull all of you to this map. Bang. It's just a map. You do not own any tokens with the seat. I know. So a Everyone is map? just a... Uh, That's a potato. Everyone is just a hoodie guy right now. It's a potato. Is that what you're saying is a potato? The icon? No, 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 on stream. Uh, he oh. put pictures of potatoes for people who are not on camera today. Uh huh. Oh. Because we don't have character art yet, so that's. I could just save them as potatoes. Uh, so to move your token, uh, select it, and then you can use the arrow keys. Or you can click and drag. Up to you. To target someone, uh, select your token, and then alt, hold alt and click. I can only see a black screen. Oh, uh, uh, that's because none of you guys have. For sure. Settings, vision, has vision. I might have to fix that because I don't think I can alt click on anything. Uh, okay. I can probably change that. Yeah, uh, I'm on a Linux machine, so uh, how my alt key works in my Windows is different. It, it gets captured differently than it does on a Windows machine. Yeah. Oh, wait, never mind. It should, yeah, it, it yeah. should grab it in the browser properly. Okay. Yeah, Chad, <clears throat> Chad, in case you couldn't tell, I was teabagging you. Fuck now, off, there, is, there is another way to move. Uh, if you need to count and you can't quite <clears throat> see the grid, like you can't on this map, uh, hold control, click and drag your character while it's selected, and then hit the space bar. And move. I finally got done with my advances. Jesus Christ, that was like a kid in a candy store. If you need to make a path, you can hold control drag, click, 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 and then hit the space bar and it'll drag and it'll drop. Oh. Eric, do my advances look alright? Uh that's a great question. Cool. Yes, the only thing I would ask is that uh, put the die types that you raise to, and uh, for the new powers one, just tell me which new powers you took there. Okay, okay. Not that it super matters, but just in case I'm ever like, how'd you get there?
Um, and I'll go through and get all the sounds and stuff working. There you go, Derek is updated. <laughs> Poor James. <laughs> There. Now fire your double barrel shotgun again. Oh, oh, that weird. Okay. <laughs> Keep shooting James. So how do you shoot then, Derek, once you've got a target selected? So from the chat card... Uh, click the roll button at the bottom. Roll, roll, roll. Your dice. In the chat. And that will roll the thing. Uh, if you need a cold shot or anything, or if they're undercover, uh, click any of those options there. Those are... Those are options for you. And then from the chat card itself, click the little button. I'll set the reload stuff later to fix that. Hey. Bye, chat. Bye, chat. <laughs> you have no idea. <laughs> Besides, you, I, I've done like. Two, so, two, how, how do you reload the ammo? Uh, there's a reload button also in the chat card. There's a reload slash manual ammo, right? Under subtract ammo. You can also, like, uncheck subtract ammo, and that'll just not use ammo. And how do I know what's the max the gun can hold? Uh, what kind of gun? Is it a peacemaker? Yeah. Uh, I believe they hold six. Is it a six shooter, is it? Uh huh. One action to reload one bullet, by the way. Unless you got a quick loader, if you got a quick loader, you can reload the whole thing in six seconds. And one action. Oh. Now, there's one last thing. Uh, when you have your tokens selected, you're on the main map screen. You're going to see a bunch of little buttons pop up. Uh, that is the token action HUD. Um, so you don't have to go into your character sheet to find things. That's what the token action HUD is for. Um, if you need to make a... Like, if you need to shoot your gun, you click on inventory. Uh, you would click on your weapon or your gun. In your case, let's say, uh, go steel knife, because that's who I had selected. And then you just hit roll. And that would say, hey, do you hit? Say that again, sorry. Uh, it's the same one we use in um, Pathfinder, that sort of thing. Yes, yeah, same one. Um, now, for shooting and stuff, like when you go to shoot someone, you have to use the item from your inventory. So, like, if you are shooting a gun, you need to use the inventory button on the token action HUD, click on the gun, and that will send it to the chat. Where's the inventory on it? Uh, yours isn't listed for some reason. Do you have anything in your inventory? Yes, you do. Oh, you need to equip them. That's why. Ah. Uh, I've got you. Oh, wait. Uh, that would make, that would make sense. Turn. There we go. And now it's on your inventory. And it tells you how many Oof. bullets it holds beside it. By the way. That is fucking great. How do you get to that hut again? Uh, just select your token. Just select your character. So yeah, I clicked on it. And then you should see a HUD pop up. Oh, is I it don't... One, like up across the top? Yep. Uh, yeah. Not the one that says landing page or stable or something, but... No, it's the other one. Yep. Should say attributes, skills, status, wounds, fatigue, minis, powers, inventory, edges, hindrances, and utility. Yeah. Yep, that's the one. All this does is this just links things from your character. So 
everything here, it's just an easier way to navigate your character sheet without having your character sheet open. That's all it is. This this is one of the best UI modules I have ever seen it because brilliant. it doesn't do anything. It doesn't do anything on its own. All it does is give you another way to interact with something. It's, it's fantastic. So is then, there a, is there a way to have like something from the compendium on the hotbar? Uh, no. What did you need? Well, I, I, what I would have liked is I would have liked the combat edges on the hotbar. Oh, uh, well, combat edges. Like, so I could just open it up. What combat edges? Like the edges that you have? No, just all of them. I, 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 what I'll do is I'd like to press the hotbar and have like combat edges show up. Why? Because of one of my powers. Wait. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to click that. Um. Bang. Which power? Gosh. Look at my last power. You put pictures in here. Yes, you can. Um, uh, oh, this thing. Okay. Um, here, I'm going to edit that entry for you. Okay? Okay. So, here, un at the end, I'm going to say... Uh, so, if you right-click... Um, I'm going to say heading 2... Enter. If you right click from the token action HUD, it will open the item. So it will open the item description, essentially. So where am I looking? Sorry. Uh, so on your token action HUD, under yeah. powers, go to that power and right click it. Uh, still, it doesn't look to the compendium, though, does it? Uh, it will in just a second. Okay, okay. Because I'm manning. Just, uh, I just read that power and I'm like, that is fucking awesome. Uh, are they, there's some edges. It's all edges, right? Combat edges. All combat edges that I, requ I meet the required rank for. Okay. So if I'm seasoned, I can use up to season ones. Alright. So I've got to pull and give... Okay, so this is gonna be... Not... Indium... Oh, not caps lock. This is... Here is a little device I have been keeping secret from you all. Maybe you can use it with some good, good, good things, or maybe some bad things. Who knows? I am just the supplier, you're the user. <laughs> you playing another crowd? Wanna play what? Another German. No. That sounded like a German accent. That was, that was not a German accent, trust me. Uh, sure shit sounded like it from over here. Okay, I'm going to hit the save button. Did that work? No, that is undefined. Okay, I guess I'm going to have to link. How do I link this? Careful you don't blow yourself up with this device, Stephen. That is what I'm trying not to do. And it's just the combat edges, right? Yes. 
Let's see what it says. What? Wait, do I need to do this? Hold on. Yes. No, I don't. Um, so, right-click that power. Uh, the word edge is red, right? The benefits yes. of a single combat, and then the word edge is red. Click that. Click that word. Yep. And that should open a list of edges. If you scroll down just slightly, you'll find the combat edges heading. Okay, okay. There you go. I don't need to do that. So, I'm guessing that S is season, N is novice, H is heroic and whatnot. Yes. That is correct. Oh, this is going to give me so many choices. Super happy I picked this. And it gives me a chance to put flavor on it as well with like trappings. Droppings? Did you say droppings? I did. Alright, but uh past that, that is uh just about everything. Um why 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 is it whenever you get to play, time just goes boom. Well, I mean, some of us were, some of us were, you know, late, but, you know. Some of us were earning money to live, dickhead. <laughs> so there's that, and then, uh, I need to select you and to click this. Love you, James. I miss what you. happens if I do this? Ah, there we go, alright. What's this? Oh, the gambling. Okay, so, um, Chad and my my hucksters, um, under compendiums. Now, down at the bottom, under macro, under the macros one, click on Deadlands Macros, and drag that dealing with the devil to your hotbar. Uh-huh. Now, click on your character, and click... Uh, execute that macro. So just execute it. I should have script macros able to be executed for you guys. Spend a penny. Get one skill roll. And then you're dealt with the hand. Uh huh. And now you can. You said you can choose some cards to keep, so you should be able to click on some of those and send them away. I cannot click on them. Okay. Uh, which cards did you want? Uh -huh. Uh, the king, the ten, and the seven of hearts. Okay. Hold on. I have to fully figure out how to use this. Give me one second. I'm going to do it on my end. Bang. Okay, so... Oh, you select... So select five cards and then hit confirm. Did you do that? I can't click any cards. Like, I have it raised right now. I can't click any Are the cards raising up? No. Let me edit some permissions here. And I'm out of pennies. Which I know not, but I'm out. No, everyone is set to use script macros. Save, save, turn. Oh, I... Oh, did the table go down? <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Sorry. I hit the wrong button. There we go. It's coming back up now. Bang. Can we get into this when you're not logged in? To keep you can it? not. Unfortunately. No. But if yeah. you just at me, um, I can pull up the tape. Cool. Yeah, just, just at me in Discord. I can pull up. Uh, that's no problem. But yeah, you're free to log back on now. Sorry, I, I didn't mean to do that. Um... But yeah, I mean, past that, we are done for the day. I am going to check out this dealing with a double macro and see if there's any reason that Chad shouldn't be able to do that. Um, actually, I'll do this. Is this fine?
Nope. Alright, Brazil dummy. Join. Just don't call yourself that, it's not nice. What's the name of my account? <laughs> oh. Permissions, you are the owner. And we're testing on here, so testing PC things. And then I'll close it. And then give testing vision. There. Now, uh, testing needs some things, like the uh, arcane background. Incredibly illegal, but I'm just seeing how this macro works. <laughs> and then it doesn't need any powers. Okay. Compendium. Macro. Deadwings macro. Is this. Go there, please. Bang, bang. Selected. Go with the devil. Spend a penny. Hit the roll button. Okay, when you select cards, they just roll towards the top. So, like, if you select a card, it just pops up slightly. It doesn't well, look like anything happened to it, except it just pops up. Well, the Joker card, yeah, I can click the Joker card and it pops up. And then it says, select three more cards, and then two more cards, then one more card. And then confirm. So do I need to hit dealing with the devil again? Or, uh, yeah, do that. Okay. And I'm gonna go to your stream professor. Okay. Uh, I have some things to do. Uh, yeah, no, you're fine. We're done here. You're free to go. Everyone's free to go. Okay, okay. Uh, no. <laughs> I'm leaving. Goodbye. Okay. <laughs> have a good one. Bye bye. Hey, man. All right. Hit roll, Chad. Oh, now they pop up. Cool. And now the cards pop up, and now you should be able to select them. Cool, so select right. the card you want. Ooh. And uh, make and, your hand. And what kind of po uh, is, I'm guessing this is poker. Yep, regular like, poker hands. Alright. Uh, so the best possible thing for you here is what? A pair. Yeah, pair a pair high. with a side, yeah. And I'll take the king. And then you got one more card to pick. I swear to God, if I get a six and a five. Right, wait, no. We're not playing. And then confirm. Straight. It doesn't redeal. This it is just, you just okay. choose the best possible hand, and that gives you the effect. So that's where I'm at now. So you get three power points from dealing with a double for this. Oh, is that one? Or what? Yes. Oh, cool. No, because that's just how the rules work now. Oh. They, they don't oh, make no. you play a game against the devil. They make oh. you just, just roll. Double. Okay. Yeah. So I get three extra power points. Yep. So like if I was at so if I had full power points, why would I get those three extra ones? Uh no, that would only work for that um for that thing. So you put them together the poker hand and then you cast the spell. Uh if the hand gave you more power points than you needed. Because that gives you power points. It basically just lets you cast spells for free. Oh, nice. And it, can, and it can be uh, above your rank, too. Yes. Oxtrous. 
Oh yeah, okay. if the hand gave you more power points than you needed, you may add them to the spell pass roll. That's that's cool. Yep. To increase its total or use them to recharge regular power points for later. Your call, but decide before rolling. So you have to decide before you roll. Right. And I if you want crazy. to. So, yeah, that would have that would have sucked. Oh wait, we're spinning. Yeah, you can spin hey, up any that's, that's, that, that's better. <laughs> Yay. That's cool. Isn't that so much better than Fairy Secret? It is, not gonna lie. Alright. Well, I think I'm going to take off because I got to go get foods. Okay, and I, and I'm probably I, going to... So I'm probably going to jump out of Discord. If anyone has any questions for me, feel free to uh, DM me or at me or whatever. Um, I'll leave the table up for you. That's no problem. It doesn't cost me anything extra. To I do. am so excited for this to start. This is going to be fun. Wow. If you haven't already... Please read the player introduction. Uh, it's literally eight pages, and a lot of it's pictures. So. And, 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 and to give me fair, I read it. So if I can read it, y'all can read it. I read it. Where is it? Uh, it is in the Discord channel. Um, there is a file there that just says, or it has H-A-H-H uh, player's introduction. Is that in the pin messages? Yes, it is in the pins. Last dumb question before you take off, man. Where was Answer. the dice setting thing again? Oh, uh, so click the settings button up at the top of the chat on the far right hand side. Mm -hmm. Go to configure settings. Okay. Go to module settings. Oh. And then, okay. yeah. So these are all the options that you can change for yourself. Um, Scroll down, the dice settings are under the module named Dice So Nice. Just click on My Dice Settings and then it will go there. You can also say turn it off if you need to. Um, like some people may not like the 3D dice, uh, they can turn them off. Right. That's awesome. Mm. Oh, shit. Ugh. Cool. Thanks for putting this together, man. This is, you've done like a really awesome job. Oh, don't thank me so much. Thank the uh, thank the developers for this goal set because they've done most of the work. <laughs> I didn't have to do a lot for this, <laughs> except read. Reading was my thing. Nothing wrong with dude. Gotta read, man. So, uh, there will be some extra things popping up as well. Um, Oh, the one thing I didn't tell you all. If you need to show me something on the map, um, left click and hold. Oh. Cool. It gives a ping. So if you're if you're trying to say, "No, I need something over there." You just left click and hold and it'd be that thing. Uh Every now and again, if people are looking for things and no one can find it, then I will sometimes drag you all like this. I hate you. I know you do. But you I will use asshole. that very sparingly for that reaction right there. Um, I hate you. <laughs> hey, look, at least I don't blow your eardrums, okay? I mean... <laughs> Never mind. And then... Uh, is there anything else? Uh, card rules don't really matter for most people. We'll talk about the combat tracker whenever we get to that. Um, initiative works in uh, basic card order, so uh, reverse suit order. So spades go first. Then hearts, then diamonds, then clubs. And high numbers go first so it's aces are high two so low the usual uh jokers are wild um that is the other thing to think about is jokers are wild if you get a joker uh you can choose where you want to go in initial order for that round uh you also get a plus two to all of your trait rolls and all of your damage rolls for that round. You can interrupt someone else's turn with a joke if you want to. Uh, 
But past that, um, I am off for the day. Just gotta get something to eat. Foods. I gotta go finish Foods. reading this book. What book? So, have you read the Dresden Files? Yes, I've read all of the Dresden Files. Okay, well, I knew they came out with... I didn't know they came out with two books last year. Yep, two books in one year after ten years of no books. Yep. And, and, and I found this out two weeks ago, and I'm almost done with the, uh, the last book. Close to well, they they literally had to do a second book with the fucking cliffhanger they left us on. I yeah. think I read that book in a day. <laughs> nice. Well, I, I was I was in the middle of reading. Uh, if you ever read Brandon Sanderson, I was just finishing up his last book too. So. Uh, oh. Uh, just imagine like how the... just imagine how mad you would have been if that second book didn't come out and we were left there for another few years. <laughs> yeah, I'd, be I'd have been fucking Tyrannosaurus <laughs> Rex. Um, also, if you like the Dresden Files, um, the Laundry Files, you should read those too. The Laundry Files, okay. I'll add yes. to my list. Laundry Files? Yeah, the Laundry Files. Do okay. they just sit there and do laundry? No. <laughs> um, it's, it's like British humor meets the Dresden Files. Mm -hmm. Oh amazing. god, it's, it's on my to read list. Oh god, I'm I am also Fucking currently halfway through the most recent Sanderson novel. Uh, oh, you're half. Oh, <laughs> uh, oh I'm enjoying it. Just, just wait. <laughs> uh, wait for, and then we get another five years between books. Mm -hmm. Alright, but anyways, I am out. Uh, thank you, Derek. I appreciate it. Yes, yeah, thanks, uh, th thanks for hosting this, Derek. It's going to be a lot of fun. Yeah. Um, I am both happy and irritated as fuck to play with Chad again. Uh huh. Get up, get your fucking camera working. Quit being a twat. Yeah, uh, yeah I'll talk to you guys later. Uh, see okay. you, Cobra. Bye. Take care, man. Don't be, don't be a chooch, James. Shut up, you pony hating bastard. Uh huh. I'm gonna steal all of your phones. Yeah, but I've, I've got more since. You've sent me pictures. I know, and that, those, those two that I sent the last pictures of, I can't wait for them to come. Yeah, you're a damn furry. No, I'm not. I'm just a brony. <laughs> just a brony. <laughs> you're, you're a furry brony. Oh, you know have this stream. I do, and I'm ending it now. <laughs> Ain't no furry over here. Bullshit. Sorry guys, uh, I completely forgot to say all my goodbyes. Uh, I was just say uh, I'm tired. Uh, yeah, thanks for everyone for hanging out and uh, spending some time watching some uh, Deadlands as we get ready to do session one next week. Uh, we'll be back here on Friday night at 7.30, I believe, p.m. Central Time, playing some Pathfinder 2. Um, and with all that, we'll be back here on playing this game next Sunday at 2 p.m. Central. Um, anyways, thank you, goodbye, and have a good night.